invite the rain. We out here dealing with the elephants. We out here early for a change. All praise to God. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I want to open left out there. We'll go right into it. Uh, any, anything? My mind is a blank. Anything? We can go to the page and read some comments. We can go by that. Yeah, yeah. We break that. We done broke everything down. Yeah. Break it down again. I was going through some basic stuff the other day. What was you going yesterday, through? just you know, like you know, uh, some Hebrew bun. Okay, yeah. You know, good. some of that. That's good. That's good. Basic, you basic know, Hebrew. and just building off the word bun, right. bun ya, bun yum. Right, right. You know, right. and bun yum yun. Right. But yeah, yeah. You know, so just you know, okay, yeah, go through some basic, basic. Yeah, basic for the for the beginners. Yeah. Hey, the scriptures speak about the babes, you know, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. You know, sometimes you gotta go. Oh man. Hey, you know, hey. Nah, nah, he been, he been attacking. Yep. The prince of the power of the air it strikes again. Yep. And your son, Yashi, he was little, I remember he said, uh, I want to play hide the seat. He started laughing at him. Come on, he come got on. mad. He said, I want to play hide the seat. He should have said hide and seek. Hide and seek, yeah, hide yeah. And seek. Yeah, he, he he got his own language. Yeah. Yep. Old man. Oh yeah, he's almost shit, he's gotta be almost 30. Oh. I'm trying to find your face right now. Whatever come to mind, let's go to the breakdown. Give me something back. Yeah. Um, hey, what? Well, start it off. Um, we can start off, you know, I mean, just to get it warmed up. Revelation 13 and 1. The All right, beast. let's go to Revelation 13. You said it. You went through it You're before. Everybody knows it. And then, you know, it's just can build off from, you know, from there. Uh, Revelation 13 and 1. book of uh, Revelation 13 and 1. It says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. Yeah, I'll take one of those, horns, this one. Ten crowns upon his head, the name, the name of blasphemy. Yeah, first of all, this is John on the Isle of Patmos. John had to be the last. All the other major the apostles of the twelve Put to death. Now, they don't go into uh, the scriptures and tell you how they put to death. But in the history, it tells you about how uh, Peter was put. To, uh, Peter was uh, condemned by son. the Roman authorities. Mm -hmm. Now Paul, and that's you got to go into that history. Okay. You got to go into that history. It's not no. in the scriptures. Yeah, okay. so we can only go by what the history says, whether it happened that way or not. But do know scholars would say that John was the last apostle. So, you know, he was he was all he was up in age. If he wasn't hundred, he was close to hundred. He was in his late nineties. And uh, he was sentenced to the on the Isle of Patmos, which is the territory of priests. Yeah, and that that was your is apostle, the apostle John. Because exactly. it because it says right when you read from the first verse in Revelation one and one, as you read on down, he speaks about him, the, you know that the things that he witnessed, the things that he saw of Yahweh Shai, you know? Okay. Yeah, he was close to Yahweh Shai. Okay. So come on, let's go. Uh, Revelation 13 and 1 again. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. So that beast is very important. That beast is first mentioned in uh, Daniel chapter 7. And it mentions it mentions one beast, but it's two. It's a two-part beast. All right, you have the Roman Empire, and then you have the revised Roman Empire. Which when you read in uh, uh, Revelation 13, it's to tell you that the devil moon was healed. And scholars won't say that. Scholars will. Uh, they'll say it's Satan, it's this, it's that. 
and they have different opinions as to the beast in Revelation. But sometimes they'll equate it to Daniel mm -hmm. chapter 7. Well, but if you go to Daniel chapter 7 and you check out the commentators, the Christian commentators, the so called experts, Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But uh, plus it's windy too. Right. So, uh, the styles will tell you that uh, they refer to back to Daniel seven. But let's go to Daniel seven. Let's go to Daniel seven and uh, Daniel seven. And there was a video that somebody had put up, and I was trying to get a commentary on it. Right, natural he causes, like you said. Right. Look it up. right. So, you know, how, you know how many kings came after him? Yep. There was like six kings, six or seven kings. Yep. That came after him. So, so what, so during his lifetime, what nation took him over and gave him more than a piece? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yep. So I said he's like a, he's like a used car salesman. Right. He's talking fast. But see, you can't talk, you can't be no fast talking anymore. So we check out everything, and everybody else checks out everything. Hey, uh, this guy, uh, uh, Volcan Malone, hey, Volcan Malone, he's just on our toe. But if we say something that goes against the scriptures, the history of the scriptures or whatever, he'll jump on it. Well, wait a minute, oh, I said this, yeah, this, yeah. that, the other. Mm -hmm. Now he'll bring, out, he'll bring out a tape that I, uh, a video that I said that shit 20 years ago. Right. See, Tahar said, in the year 2000, we're going to show you a video. That video goes back more than 20 years. So about 20 years ago. So, you mm -hmm. can't just, just say any, you just can't say any old goddamn thing. Prove all things, yeah, scriptures say. You, you know, you're going through the verses, you're going through the verses. Yep. You might get the, uh, the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, verse right, but 10, you don't know it, so you just make up something. Well, most people are watching you, man. They watch, okay? So, so my thing is this. Solomon died in his power. So ain't no beast gave the, the mark. And then, and then the first beast in Daniel chapter 7 is a Babylonian. The Babylonians came just about 200 years later. Right. So what beast are you talking about? Yeah. There ain't no beast. All the references of the word beast in prophecy is Daniel 7 and Revelation. Mm -hmm. Alright? Daniel 7 and the book of Revelation. Any other time that is written in the scriptures, it's written, it's, it's written as an absolute beast, a horse, a bull. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, your hunter don't know what the beast is. That, that's it. Yeah, well, what, what he's doing, he's making it up as he goes along, but you can't yeah. do that, man. Yeah. People, people are checking you. Hey, the things that we say, you can just the small hats get mad at us and saying we're anti-Semitic. We're not anti-Semitic. Right. You can be a Semite all you want. Because uh, I don't know what a Semite is. Right. Now we're pro Shemite. We're Shemites. Right. What the hell is a Semite? <laughs> and what the hell is a Jew for that matter? Jew, Jay didn't come about until the 14, 14 to the 15, 24. By a man by the name of Tresino. By the way, we were the one that broke the news. None, no other than him broke it. You can go ahead and use it. Just go confuse it. So let's, let's go to Daniel 7 and 7. Uh, Daniel 7 and 7. We cook in the stew. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Potato, corn. Yep. yep. Daniel's. Non-GMO. 
See them other cans, they give you GMO food. They give more doctors. I know this guy is going to steal that. He's going to steal it. GMO doctors. GMO doctors. Our doctor was 100 percent organic. Yep. Non GMO. Non GMO. That's it. We got 100 percent truth, but it's none of ourselves. It's a gift of the Howard Washington outside. You can't take that gift. Con. The Howard Shine made a statement. He said, Lo, I will sup with you even to the end of the world, right? That's what yep. the Howard Shine said, right? Con. So, of all the Israelite groups, which group, honestly, would the Howard Shine be supping with? What, what did he say? What's that? I was something, something to that. Well, it's two. Brother, we got them nights out on everybody. Yeah. That's two. I know what you mean. It's two, oh, two, okay. two, um, two, two scriptures. Yeah. Revelation. Yeah. Yeah. Combining what you said. Well, who can't be doing that yeah. for him? He said. But I mean, I'm not messing with you. He said. He said he would suffer with us. That's in Revelation three and fifteen. And he said, Lord, I'm with you to the end of the world. Okay, so, good. You know, okay, you, yeah, okay, so, you qualify. Yeah, so, you qualify. Good. So the, so the question is this. Um, out of all the other like groups, right, which one would you house that truly suck with? You got to say great. If you're honest, you got to say great Nelson. Okay? I can't see you house that supping with IS, ISU. Was it ISUPK? You ain't supping with IUIC. They don't even call it ISUPK. He ain't supping with IUIC. So, so the question... Yeah, and so, I'm not saying it's a brag of both. Yeah. You know? Well, even the Apostle Paul said that, like, uh, allow me to boast myself. You know, if we're saying the truth, we can boast if we're saying the truth. Right? If we're saying the truth. But if, we, if we're making a lie, then not. Nah, we can't be boasting. He said, he said, bear with me and my father. And my father, yeah. So there were little times where the Apostle Paul boasted a little. And he was in his right to do so. You know, when he made the statement. Got, and he got got into the folly thing too. Yeah. You know? When he when he made the statement when he said uh, he said I labored more than all the apostles. Right. Now that would be considered like a slight boast. Yeah, but he said true. that what did he say? He said in the first I, first I labored more than them all. He said the first Corinthians eleven I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Go to first Corinthians eleven and yeah. <coughs> Me a little, 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 for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Yahweh What is a chaste virgin? A woman that has not been a touched. A woman that's perfect. Perfect. That hasn't been, you know, like in uh, the movie Coming to America, completely free, free of infection. Yep. She's Being not, a perfect woman. She's so not, everything's got to be perfect. She's not bouncing up on different, you know? Right. Yeah, exactly. She doesn't have any diseases. You know, she's not sick. I present you. That's that's how that's how a good script. Let's read that again. Yep, she's not an adulteress. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Yahweh Shai. So what is Paul saying here? He's saying that he's getting he's a he's a bridal guy. Right. He's making sure there's no spots on the garment. Yep. He's, he's inspecting. Ain't saving nobody, ain't looking at nobody. Ain't tainted. Been, been tainted, and then he mentally, you know, mentally, adultery starts in the mind. A mind well instructed. So he, he has her ready for the wedding. Right. And this is his responsibility to make sure she's perfect. Because that could be his hand. Right. So he said, I'm jealous over you with God and jealousy. Right. There's, wait a minute, wait a minute. Man can't teach you. Why would Paul make a statement like that? I'm jealous over you with God and jealousy. Right. I'm like God over you. That's what Paul said. I'm God. All right? Oh, the fact that he was jealous, that's why he was constantly rebuking the guys that went off. Yeah. Because he was, like he said, he was jealous. I'm jealous over you with God and jealousy. 
Yeah. So a lot of these guys, right, these, these are like dudes, a lot of them, when, when we keep making videos of the dudes that are, that are going off, or you guys are causing uh, division. You guys are causing... Uh, no, you're, you're causing division. We're not causing... As if we're supposed to be the go-along to get along game. We're trying, we're trying, we're trying to present right. you as a, uh, a chase person, man. Yeah. You're exactly. teaching that the new moon is the full moon. Right. That's, that's a, that's a, that's a, somebody do a fucking, fucking shit on your ass, man. Right. You know what I mean? Dang. You a bucket of, a bucket of, uh, dung. Dung or whatever. So you, you got, you got spinach on your, on your tooth. That's right. You, you got on your period. You can't, you oh, can't man. get married when you're on your period. You got a boogie hanging out your nose. How's that go? Uh, uh, all tables. Full of vomit. vomit. Yeah, vomit. That's vomit and filthiness. Who the hell wants to sit at a table? with vomit and filthiness on the table. Even though the food might look good, but who the hell wants to sit on the table with good food, but then you got vomit and filthiness? When you go to the restaurant, the last people that came in and ate, they got bread, napkins, you know, a cup of half coke in it, bread over here, food, spaghetti stains. What happens is when you leave, you got the people recording, they come in and wipe everything good. They clean everything all right. There's something missing. They pull it. They, the master says, "Look, you got to get man. You got the spot over here. You got to, you got to vacuum. Okay, now you can let, let the guests do the same thing with a wife. Right. Yeah. All those, those chefs when they plate the food, they may they always wipe it. Sometimes you, you see it on on the cooking channel when they plate the food. If there's like spots, yep. they'll wipe it. So yeah, when they present the food, the food is presentation. Yeah, yeah eat, when eat. they present the food, there's no spots. Right. Like if a spot of gravy. Yep, you, you got see it. Them, yeah. They'll wipe it. Yep. Now when they pre present the food, the food is, is perfect. Yeah, the plate looks good. Well, that's that's our attitude concerning this gospel. This gospel is food. Con. Right? Because it's about coming into this thing perfect. Con. If you're teaching that the new moon is a full moon, you are not perfect. Con. You're less, you're less of a bride. You don't, you don't got the white on. That's you, got, you got spots in you. You don't yeah. qualify. You don't qualify. Yeah. Uh, what, else, what else are they teaching? What, teaching? Yeah. what else are they teaching? You the hell doctrine. Yeah. Oh, the hell doctrine? Yep. That's some more... That's some more spots. That's some more spots on you. You look, you look like a hot mess. That's mold. Weaves, 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 right. Weaves, weaves, coming, dropping on your head, half your head, looking bald. Yeah. You look kind of rusty boy, you need some, some oil. oil. No, I don't need that one. I, I, I got some. Uh, Proverbs 9 and 1. Wisdom has built her house. She has a huge... I gotta say, it, man, some of you Israelite groups, man, you look at mad rusty, man. You need some oil. You are. And that's why the scripture speaks about what? How is I told that woman at the well, who is the Heavenly Father looking for? The true worshipers. To worship Him in spirit and in truth. That's the hopeful elect. And really, Great Millstone and our affiliates. God damn. Anybody can be an Israelite because you're looking for numbers. Why are you looking for numbers? Because it's a money thing with you. Your motivation is making money. If you look at this thing as a, as a, a, a money extravaganza, this, this ministry, you, you don't look at uh, you don't look at it as being what as being what it's supposed to be. So serious. Repentance, yeah, serious. The sol solemnity of it. Repentance to Yahweh Shai, You know, having faith. And, and hoping that the house shot delivers us. You don't look at it as that. You look at it as, oh, this is a thing I can make a lot of money. So that's why you want all those heads, you know? Why you think Jude wrote that book? Yeah. Spots in your piece. Yep. This guy's name ain't right, man. There's spies in here. Yeah, you, got you can't be too familiar with that fucking box, man. Because yeah. remember, you guys, this, this motherfucker's been infiltrated, man. Yep. Uh, Proverbs 9 and 1. Wisdom hath built her house. She hath hewn out her seven pillars. She hath killed her beasts. She hath mingled her wine. She hath also furnished her table. And you better believe that table is going to be pristine. It's going to be, uh, it's going to have a, a good appearance to it. Right? Good example is when you got your car. Your car look all dusty, 
Oh yeah. yeah. And, then, yeah. and then the guy will have it ready for you. Yeah. And it looks like two different cars. Oh, it looks yeah. like a brand new, it damn near brand new. Yeah. Like a year old. Yeah, that car was a pre-owned car. That car looked brand new. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. They buffed it out yeah. and made it look brand new. You was there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But before that, it was all dusty, right? Yeah. Dusty oh, yeah. on yeah. it. But it looked brand new. That's, so that's what Paul was saying. Anytime you go to a car dealership, and I got this car, what, two years ago? I'm talking to the guy that Jake opened the phone. You came with me. Remember, oh, remember, remember Sean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that white boy. Yeah. Cool as hell. Hey, but anyway, he's telling me about I'm seeing the pictures of the car. So when I came in there, they had the car sitting right there, the truck or whatever, sitting right there with like flags on it. So, yeah, I see that. I see the car. Yeah, yeah. It's on the, on the way. Yeah. So the guy gave me the keys there. No, that's for you. Right? Do what you want to do, man. So I drove that motherfucker for about a half an hour, man. <laughs> then I came back, then, then we went into business, right? Did the deal, and that's it. That's it. You know, check my credit, all this other, all this other good stuff. But then, but they, and then, then they said this. I said, well, wait a minute. The AC ain't working. So the guy said, no, the AC. I said, no, the AC's not working. I don't hear. Uh, the compressor. He said, no, it's not working. He said, well, I have my people checking anyway. Then later, he, he, I call him back. He said, you know you were right. The AC wasn't working. But they weren't going to sell it to me anyway. They took it to their technician and made sure everything worked. I think the only thing problem was the AC. They put the stuff in there and he said, it needed to it. That's it. You know what they do? He said, man, you should be working at this dealership. You know? Yeah. You know, he also, I also asked him, I said, do you have, is the is 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 sound system is set up an XM radio? He said, no, it's not. But I found out it was. After I, after I, uh, you know, got the car, I found, and then you know what I did? That morning was a Wednesday night. You dropped me off. Right, right. Right? Because I said, I'll see you tomorrow. He said, no. He said, you take the car tonight. Gave me the, went to the back, gave me the plates, yeah, yeah. you know, the metal plates and all that, but they got it hooked up with a yep. DMV. Yeah. Yep, yep. So what happened was I drove it, you know, I was all happy, drove it home. And then the next morning I got up and I just drove for about a good hour, just driving it. And then I, and then, then I, then after I went to this parking lot, I pulled over and I said, I got to switch my XM to this car. So I took it off the other car. Right. Okay. The other car I gave it to the brother. I called him, you know, switch it over. Boom, he switched over. I said, yeah, I'm going to it now, brother. Go. Hey, brother, I'll, 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 I'll drive it there. Hell yeah. 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 It wasn't even a new car. You can't beat the XM. That's it. That's it. That I, got the XM. I got the XM. I only leave it on a couple of yeah. channels. No big channels. Channels that I like, you know? Yeah. You know what channel I got? I got, uh, you got to let me know how many channels you got. So I can get some of them. But do you miss the Urban View? Uh, yes, yeah, some uh, urban view. I got an urban view. I got it on my CNN and a couple other channels. Right, right. Yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah. they got the NPR, NPR radio. NPR. I know about it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Oh, what else? Uh, uh, BBC. They got the BBC. Alice and BBC. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. If they're breaking news, I'll check yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check out. Uh, you know, I'll check them out. Maybe anyway, having, yeah, go ahead. Um, no, I was going to say, maybe having some uh, good radio programs every now oh, and then. Oh, yeah, you're going to get advertised. Yeah, it might be, yeah. Some good shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not all the time. So then they got a comedy channel. Oh, yeah. Music. They got all, they got oh, different man. types of hip hop, right? Yeah. And that's why you got to get it, bro. And they got the old school yeah. 90s hip hop, 80s hip hop, 2000 hip hop, and modern hip hop. You know, different types of jazz and shit, you know? You got something called Soul Town, that's when they play that whole joint. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. And they got, uh, what else? They got the 70s, they got the 60s, they got the 50s. Oh. So, yeah, I mean, you know, we should be do a commercial for XM Radio. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's Sunday. It's okay. Go ahead, brother. You got it. Well, I got one. You see, when you get it one year, the next year, you go on to get it because you're addicted to it. It's just like, it's just like cable. But anyway, going back to the dealership, they have my car looking all nice and shit. It's better than it looking on the damn web. It's a goddamn, you know? 
And that's how we're supposed to, that's the attitude we're supposed to have to this ministry. Yeah, we're dealers, we're dealers for the most high. Right. right. Make it, make it, the word, see, you got this guy Nate riding on horses and shit. It's all about making himself, but no, the word, the ministry, the Bible, the scriptures, that's what we're supposed to make look good. Make look attractive. How does that go? Did the, 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 the ministry be blameless or something like that? Yeah, that the ministry be blameless. I, I, I think that was the Apostle Paul. He said, to be as sons of God uh, in, a, in, a, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. And perverse nation. Now, you got a lot of crooked and perverse guys in Israel. Even in the truth, they're the worst ones. Well, the scriptures speak about uh, the outward appearance of braiding hair. Somebody give me that, please. Uh, but here. Yeah, when Yahweh Shai talked about twofold the child of hell, what the hell do you think he was talking about? He was talking about that wicked ass Israelite. The most wickedest nigga on the planet is the guy that knows he's an Israelite, but perverts the word. You can't get more wicked than that, man. And you got plenty of them dudes right in the ministry, man, fronting as if they're men of the Lord. And so only a matter of time that Yahweh Shai exposed them. You talking about this one here, Apostle, in 1 Timothy 2 and 9? In like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Is that the one? That, that's, it, that's it. And that applies to the men too. Because remember, we're all the bride of the most high. Gone. The, the bride of Yahweh. So you're supposed to be a humble dude, man. Yeah. The Bible says that the prophets wear sackcloth in the latter days. You know, you've got guys wearing these super fancy garments. You don't understand what you're involved in. You don't understand this ministry. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is, um... Most, can you give me this one? The most high judge is not the outward appearance. Right. Okay. Can I get this real quick? Yeah, go ahead. This is First Peter 3 and 3. Whose adorning, let it not be the outward adorning of plating the hair, and of wearing of gold, and of, or of putting on of apparel. But let it be the hidden man of the heart. In that so you know it's talking about men, so let it be the hidden man of the heart. Right. In that which is not corruptible, even right. the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Our job is, is this, not to do out a bunch of gimmicks, not to have uh, uh, going on boats, We're going on the boat, the, 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 the GMS annual boat ride, riding, in, riding into places on horses, then you get looked at as if you're your house shy, man. You guys see, are crazy. see what happens was, that's called a cult of personality, yeah. look up cult of personality, I did it in the video. Can somebody look it up, cause I don't See, when, when you make yourself a cult of personality, you're godlike. The most I kill have out to do in that shit. You know? The people said he is, he's not a man, he's a god. Then the most I killed him right there. Uh, this is 1 Samuel 16 and 7. Oh, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. So why didn't why didn't they why didn't Jesse call out his, his younger boy, David? Because he was smaller than state. He was a young, he was a young guy. He was a kid. Yep. He was a straight up kid, man. His brothers were warriors. They were full grown men. At that time when when, when uh David uh put the gun the uh the armor of uh, Saul on, he said he had to test it, right? It said I, I believe the actual word there in the King James is stripling. I don't know if it's in there, but it means stripling, yep, yep. I Meaning you got a kid that's uh in, in a junior high school, and he's six foot five. Which sport you gonna put him in? You gonna put him in the basketball, right? So when he goes to high school, he goes to college, and he he gets drafted into the NBA. So you already know. You said this kid is this kid is in uh he's in the he's in uh seventh grade, and the nigga fifth is six foot five. So you already know he's gonna grow at least another three, four, five inches, right? right? Yep. Right. So you don't you don't put him you don't you don't put him in a spot where you don't make him a jockey. Right, right. You, you, you don't make him really play football. The sport that he's supposed to play is uh, basketball. The jockeys are usually short. No, they're short. Yeah, they're, 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 uh, I got coach coach of personality. 
says the definition this is from Google a cult of personality or a cult of the leader is the result of an effort which is made to create an idealized and heroic image of a leader by a government often through unquestioning flattery and praise or often through unquestioning flattery and praise now right. give me Acts 12 and go to the point Hera okay. because it was the people that said that said that they said about Hera and the most I got mad at the people that took it out on Hera oh that's what it that's what that cracker that rolled up on the side when it said that the most I love peace or you say yeah I said, yeah. wait a minute, if we love Esau, why did he put Hera to death? Yeah, yeah. You dumb, you dumbass monkey. Everybody riding off of that video, man. Then yeah, what about Antiochus of Epiphanes? He was an Edomite. Right? And he asked for, he asked he for asked forgiveness for, for, several yeah, times. Yeah. Yeah. He yep. praised the Mosai, and the Mosai still took his ass out. And he slow, died on, slow, yeah. from the inside out, baby. He died a horrible death. A gut, a, gut, a gut disease is the worst, the worst disease you can get. I, I know. Yeah, I got Go, ahead. Go ahead. This is um. Uh, this is the book of. This thing is acting up. The book of Acts 12 and 21. And upon a set day, Herod arrayed in royal apparel. What? Arrayed oh. in royal apparel. Oh. Oh. Arrayed in royal apparel. Oh. He was looking good. That purple. He was looking sharp as a tack. Oh. He was spiffy on that day. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, sat upon his throne. Was, sat was, upon his throne. Not on a horse. Go ahead. He was and now, made. You know you just can't sit on a throne like 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 a regular dude. Right, you right, gotta, right. You gotta you gotta walk up there. Yep. Cut, cut, cut. Yep. Like Conan the Barbarian. That, that's, it. that's it. In all pomposity. <laughs> Go ahead. You gotta sit like Conan, like my man. That's it. That's Arnold. Yep. Yeah. Or oh, bovine. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Another ah, bovine from the from the 13th oh, yeah. he, he, he died on the throne. Yeah, he's all fucked up. Yeah, yeah. The young the guy. The second he gets on the throne, he's on the throne. Yeah. All regal, then he fucking died on the throne. Looking like Jack. Yeah. 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 Looking like Pooh. Now there were the church baptism and the church prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Go ahead. Uh, so so like, it, yeah. Where are you at? Acts 12 and 21. Alright. Let's see if I can get it. Acts 12 and 21. It says, uh. I got it. Acts got 12 it. and 21, right? Come. And upon a set day, Herod arrayed in royal apparel set upon his throne and made an, made an oration unto yep. them. Go ahead, and go made ahead. An, and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not of a man. And immediately... Now, when, when, when Bishop Nate came with the horse, yeah, there was a woman, like, like a, scene, a, a yeah. scene out of uh, Coming to America. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm yep. surprised they didn't have the, the, the rose petal yeah, yeah. girl. They, yeah, this damn woman. They were crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they had the music, the royal music. Yeah, yeah. And women crying and shit. Why were they crying? Because this is a god. They're looking at him as a god. Yeah, yeah. Weeping for Tom Moose. Weeping for Tom. Well, that's Tom Moose on the horse. Damn. We found out who Tom, what Tom Moose looked like. Tamas. Tom Moose. Black Tom Moose. It makes seem that he goes. How dare they call me Tom Moose? Uh, you gotta, you, you need to learn humility, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah how you much you have to teach us that? No, Be I, humble, man. You thought he would learn by now. Hey, hey, let, hey! To put that song, get the balance right. When you reach the top, get ready to drop. <laughs> you gotta prepare yourself for the fall. Hey, you know what? See, now you did all that. And you, and then when people see that, they look at you as a god. They look at you as a god. Like you can't say nothing wrong. They will never. Play. What did it say? What did it say in the twenty-second verse? Read again. Okay, uh, Acts twelve and twenty-two, twenty-one, uh, twenty-one. And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an oration 
come to them. And the people gave a shout, saying it is the voice of a god. So how do you think they're looking at Bishop Nate? Like oh, they're yeah. looking at him as a, as a god. And this man is a god. This man is not a man. He's a god. Yeah. He loves that too. And he loves it. So, so the problem with that is this. If he happens to teach something and he's going off, ain't nobody going to say, look, you're going off. I got a question now. You're not, you're not being in the spirit of Berea. The Apostle Paul picked up the church of Berea because they were checking this guy. He said, I don't know, let's, let's go and check what this guy say. He didn't, he didn't say, look, you don't got to check it out. I got it right. Read it the way I tell you to read it. <laughs> and when that happened to Ariel, Ariel was on that high, oh, yeah. high horse too. Yeah, he was. Read it. I, I broke it down that way. Read it the way I told you to read it. High priest Ariel should have checked every time they were giving him flattery and praise, he should have checked them. You know, he should have, he should have checked them dudes that were doing that. You know? Yeah, well even King Masha told him at the opening, when you told him he, he was Elisha, he said, don't tell him that his head gonna be bigger than it already is. Right. Yeah. You, know? you know, and it says, and the people gave a shout, saying it is the voice of a god and not of a man. Yeah, yeah, because look, he had the royal power. He was decked out. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Edomite, black Edomite was decked out. Yeah. He sat on that throne with gold on it. He had the scepter. He didn't say scepter, but he, he was royal. He was royal looking at Oh, yeah. And the people were all, oh, my goodness. It's a, it's a god. It's a god. It's not a man. Probably had a gold chalice. Oh, yeah. Oh, with yeah. some yayan yeah, yeah, in he, it. He was decked. He was decked. So, so the people praised this guy and said he's not a man. He's a god. And then what happened? Immediately. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh. The next verse it says, And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him mm. because he gave, because he gave not God the glory. Now these guys don't give God the glory. They say, Who is the king? Christ. You're giving your glory to the white man. When you say Christ, I, what picture, what picture comes to my mind? A white boy. Right. Looking like, looking like something from a. Uh, Rock yeah, who, 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 who that? The white boy at you? <laughs> and he gave my God the that? glory and, and uh, was eaten, excuse me, and was eaten of worms and, and gave up the spirit. And the I mean, so, so my point in, in, in saying all this is this, that if you put yourself up there as a God, Oh, well, well Kofi did that. Yeah. He went as far as to say, he's a God sent Kofi. Yep. And they believed him. He said, they better not be a man. Right? He said that. He said, a man can't be the comforter. Then I uh, forget what priest have you read. But he equated it to a man, meaning we are comforters, meaning we right. comfort you with the scripture. Right. right. That comfort you, comfort you, my people. That Yahweh Shai gave you. Right. right. So he put the pastor on the people, and they, what did they do? They looked at him as a, as a comfort. Right. Hey. As, as, as Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai said, I shall not leave you comfortless, comfortless. I shall come to you. Right. So who's the comforter? Yeah. Yahweh Shai, right? That's right. So he was saying that he's Yahweh Shai. Yep. And the messed up thing about it was, he got approval by Shah and Ariel. Well, wait a minute, Shah didn't say nothing. Yeah, but he didn't say nothing to protest. Now, if I was there, I said, what? Well, First of all, I would have left way before that. Way before that. But if I was in the audience and say, I'm the God of Christ, I'd be like, what? I said, nigga, what did you just say? Nigga, what? Nigga, who? And um, so what So what ultimately happened to him? The most High took him out. Yeah. Cause the most High took him out quick. He didn't have no long duration of his The most High just took his ass out and he gave him the... the, the C-19. Sea monster. Sea monster. Yep. So, so, now him establishing the fact with Ariad Shaw, I was so glad the company was finally here. When they established that, anything he said, he, he that was the voice of the God. Right. You you would never question him saying something wrong. If he said, well, Edomites can make it, they'll believe Edomites can make it. Well, right. he was dismantling the, the knowledge. He was dismantling oh, the gospel. Said, well, what did he do? He said that, uh, we don't know the name Yahweh Shah. Right. We're going to call him Bunya Hour. 
Uh, he said that uh, he said that Mary Mary never had sex. Joseph never had sex with Mary. Yep. Matter of fact, Mary never had no children. They were they were cousins. Yep. The hell doctrine. The hell doctrine. The Apollyon. Apollyon. Yeah. Taught a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Yep. I got a, a precept for this. So what what ultimately happened to this guy? Osama put him to death. Gone. And then the ironic thing with, with Bishop Nate a year ago. And changed. He was in the hospital in his deathbed, man. Yep. You should. You sent me a picture. Of him. He looked, I said, man, that man, that man, that man looked like he's already dead. Yep. His face was all sunken. But then he came back, and as soon as he came back, the opening for the 2002, 2022. Then he opened. Then he praised Yahweh. Yep. Yahweh Shai. He was a little humble. He was a little humble. Then he stopped saying it, man. Yep. Oh, recently, last week, we were listening to him, and he threw Yahweh up in there. Yeah. He threw your how up in there real yeah. quick. That dialogue, you know, with that yeah. a a animation. And then he was doing a dialogue in the background. They showed the guy, he was running and walking. Oh, that, that, yeah. yeah, I don't know if you saw it, you know. No, he, I didn't, I didn't. he was supposed to be fighting demons and he couldn't fight him by himself. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, right. right yeah, right, right, right. I believe I believe that's when he said it. Yeah, yeah. He said your yep. Why is he saying it? Because the us constantly, beat, you know, beating him down with that, man. Yeah? Con. When he came out of that hospital and almost died, he was thinking about us. He said, I'm going to say, how are you how shot? And then even Kanai said, Bishop Kanai said, yep. how are you how shot? Why do you think, if we had good get on them year after year after year, you think he would have said that? Nope. So no, now, he's good. he's good. He's good. He's back, he's back to life. He's not dead. He didn't die. Most I have mercy on him. Guess what? He got right back on his high horse again. He's even worse he now. literally am figuring to figure But yeah. this is the point right here. The point is this. He can say whatever the hell he wants, and nobody's gonna question it because he's a, he's a god. He's a god behind, you know. I got a precept uh, in the book of James, fourth chapter, the sixth verse. But he giveth, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, and hold, hold me, Jew. Uh, James four and six. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith. The heavenly Father resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. And that, that's the key of being in this ministry, is to be humble. There's no reason for us to be proud. You hey, know, look, if we was on a high horse, literally, and we up there, we wouldn't be out here. We'd, we'd take the whole set of winter off. Yeah. If you notice, we're the only group. Well, Sabak, he's still out here, so, uh, you know, big ups to him. But how many of these guys that are leaders of the one of the new school, the one Wesley's. How many of them are out here teaching? Bishop Nate ain't out. The only time he goes out is there's a special occasion. Right. They go to they go to a grand opening or they go to Africa somewhere or Jamaica or they want a TV show. But when it comes to going out there on the highways, the byways, he's not doing it. So my question is, why is men doing it? Do they have to do it? What if they say I don't like doing it? And then they took the windows off. And let, and let me not get into Yohanna, General, uh, General Yohanna. Yohanna don't go out there. And that's why we, he, he all ain't the That's why somebody said, well, you know, you got to be on General Yohanna. Well, there's nothing to get on him about. He ain't doing shit. I'm going to shoot that in, but this ego has meant it. It's going, it's totally incorrect. I mean, that group is known for teaching way out there. Way out. Yeah, for you to teach, uh, 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 John the Baptist fell out the truth. Where the hell did you get that from? And and, and uh, Captain Zariac, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. Because you know, because you know better. You know fucking better, man. John. Why would we just come out and say John the Baptist was the reincarnation coming back as a black? Why would we say something like that? Because it's true. Because we don't read the scriptures, man. What the Captain Zariac did was. Why is Jesus saying that? Let me go and get into it further. Right? Yep. And like you said, Apostle, yeah. that's another example of both the personality. Captain Zariac, you're a novice. At best, you're a novice. Yeah, being lift, lifted up with the pride all in the congregation. Of the devil, yep. Yeah. See, we're making a point to get this truth correct. We're not going to come out here and just willy-nilly to say anything about the scripture. 
somebody might ask a question, I might say, look, brother, give me, give me, I'll come back to you. Right. And I'll go look at it. I said, I had not read that scripture in a while. Yeah. yeah. That question had, you know, but most of the, for the majority, 100% of the time, when somebody asks a question, you got an answer right there. What did Peter say? We always ready to answer, right? Yep. Yep. Everyone that asks is the hope that, that is in that, you. That, that, that. Yeah, I have a scripture here. Um, the book of uh, Second, I'm sorry, the book of Titus, the second chapter. It says, uh, this is from the, the sixth verse. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded, and all things showing thyself a pattern of good works. In yep. doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. I'll read that again. Uh, Titus 2 and 7. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. In doctrine, which is the most important, in doctrine, showing uncorruptness. So if there's any part of the doctrine that's corrupt, you can't roll with it. Man. Little leaven, leaven up the whole lump. Little leaven, leaven up the whole lump. If you don't understand a particular precept, you may have to fast. You may have to hold a council. What did what did uh, Paul do? He called a council with the head, right? Yeah. In Acts uh, the 15th chapter. Yeah. Oh, by the way, when you go into the history, that was the Apostle Paul instructing who? Titus. He was instructing Titus. Titus was one of the men that came up underneath the Apostle Paul the Apostle Paul. So this was a letter that he wrote to Titus. He was telling Titus, look, this is how you have to be in the ministry. Right? As a matter of fact, hold Titus uh, chapter uh, chapter 1, verse uh, 1, verse 9. Okay. Anybody? Uh, I got it. It's up already there. Well, Titus, first chapter, start at 9? Yeah, yeah, 9. Titus 1 and 9. It says, holding fast Holding fast. No, it's not the first one. The first <laughs> okay. one. Yeah, I'm gonna give you this. Titus 1, uh, 1 and 1. Paul, a servant of Yahweh, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, according to the faith of the oh, according to the faith of God's elect. And another the, thing, if you're not in the elect, you're just pretending. And you're not gonna make it. You're gonna take right. that chip right. and you're just not gonna make it. I don't give a damn if you've been there 20 years. Yeah, and Lahab did many, many years, right? Yeah. He, he's now of the elect. But now he's teaching the Edomites to make it, other nations to make it. We don't know if uh, uh, Ariad's going to make it. Right. Uh, if Ariad's John, actually John, then he will make it. Right. Uh, Titus 1 and 1, Paul the servant, hey, because of the house has to have lost son. Right. So right. He's actually John. John ain't going to fall out. Nope. Both John's and I uh, Titus 1 and 1. Paul, a servant of Yahweh and an apostle of Yahweh Shai, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledgement <coughs> of the truth, which is which is after godliness. Which is right. Yeah. Yeah. The truth is the whole book. In hope, in hope of eternal life. That's the hope that we have. You know, when the Bible says eternal life, you know what that's talking about? When your Shai comes, it's going to change our bodies. All right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Come on. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, it says, it's saying, it's all hard. It says, it's Come yeah, In season, not a season. Come Oh, this will dry. <laughs> Uh, Titus 1 and 2, in hope of eternal life, and, and when the Bible speaks about eternal life, that's what Yahweh Shai is coming with. When he, when he comes, he's going to change. One of the things he's going to do, besides deliver his elect, is he, he's going to change our bodies. He's going to give us a body where we cannot die. That's what the Apostle Paul meant when he said this mortality must put on immortality. So that's what we're waiting for, man. You know, all of us are plagued here with all kind of and shit, we, we want those those, those those eternal bodies, man. And how wish I promised us that, you know? Uh, Titus 1 and 2, in hope of eternal life, which the Heavenly Father, that cannot lie, promised before the world began. 
uh, third person. But have in due times, but have in due times manifested his word through preaching. Ooh. And what are we doing with preaching? Check. What does the word preaching actually mean? It means prophesy. Come. So these, these jack boot, you know, the pastors, they're not preaching. Preaching this and preaching that. You're not a preacher. If I ask you to go to Daniel 2, what does that mean? You don't know what it means. You don't know what another revelation means, Jeremiah. Isaiah, you know nothing. Ezekiel, Obadiah, you don't know nothing. None of you fucking clowns in the church know nothing about the scripture. The biggest joke on the planet is the fucking black church. That's a, that's a major joke. That's a major fucking joke, man. Every time they make a sitcom, a, 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 a movie, a movie is a, a comedy. Yeah, which way is black, up? Because the black church is a comedy. Right? Yeah, to back you up, possible. Which way is up? Yep, yep. Richard Prime at the church scene. I don't drink your, your juice as a menace in the hood, whatever that yeah, title yeah, is. They had a church scene. What other, what other black movie, black movie out there with the church scene? Vampire, Vampire and Brooklyn. Vampire and Yeah, the black church is the biggest, it's a big joke. It's, it's the black church is the biggest joke on the planet. Point blank church. Yep. By the way, the Lord, by the prophet Jeremiah, called your churches hollering houses. And that's you, exactly what they're all. That's all exactly. kind of. There's all kind of uh, adulterous affairs going on. Yeah. And that's why you look. Hey, I, I put it on one video. Anytime you go to these YouTube pages with these church niggas, <laughs> they only get like two views. Yeah. The only nigga that get a lot of views is Jino Johnson, and he don't know what the fuck he's talking about, man. Nope. Yeah. And that's why he ran. He didn't run from Bishop Nate. Yeah. <laughs> Bishop Nate or two hundred motherfuckers in the purple. He's in the purple gang. Hell yeah. in the purple gang. And <laughs> yeah, you got on there talking shit, figuring the purple gang wasn't gonna come meet you. They can't meet you. Yeah. And uh, you, 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 they timed it where the service was supposed to be on, let's say 12 o'clock. So they got, they set up at 12 o'clock. So he said, we gonna keep the service going because you didn't want to face it. Because you can't deal with us, man. You can't deal with us. Uh, you, you are right. You know, but you ain't got the truth. If you had the truth, you would say that you were an Israelite, you wouldn't have no Edomites in your, in your uh, church going. And then another thing, they believe that they think they put you up there as God. Oh yeah. Especially the guy that's, that's the another reader. one, yeah. You ever seen a reader? No, no. Oh, the reader. And the Lord said he read like, like us, but then when they have the praise break, that dude, the demon jumps on that dude and he starts, oh. he starts, you gotta see that shit. Oh. He's got a fucking demon on him, man. <laughs> He's got a demon on him. Hopping and oozing. The dude, be he'll be jumping around. Uh, then the other guy that looks like Pharaoh. Oh, yeah, the ball. The, the ball had an old yeah, guy. Yeah. He falls asleep all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. be watching this guy. Yep. You know, he'll tell him, that's what the Lord said. He's hitting that thing. That's what the Lord said. Yeah. You see the guy? <laughs> Knocked out. The, the, the black church yeah. is a fucking joke. Because joke. deep sleep have taken over. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's slumber. Yep. Oh, uh, lo loving, slumber. loving slumber, loving, uh, loving slumber, yeah. Yeah. Loving the a little slumber. folding of the hand, dumb dogs, yeah, dumb dumb dogs, dogs yeah. Yeah. Loving, yeah. loving the slumber. Yeah. yeah, you're supposed to be telling your congregation about the coming of martial law, the coming of uh, the uh, mandatory implantation of that CHI. What, what do you think they're going to do? Being a shepherd. What do you think they're going to do when that actually happens? They're going to have chipper stations in the fucking church. Oh yeah. Oh, well, you got the clergy response team. Can't forget about you guys. Romans 13. And uh, yeah, and uh, uh, what's his, what, uh, uh, Bishop Gino Jennings, he's probably part of the clergy oh, response team. Oh, he's inside, man. He's, he's probably inside. part of the yeah, clergy response team. Nick might be part of the well, clergy response team. Well, guess what? We're going to find out. We're going to find out the real deal when they, when they, when they uh, introduce that um, See that here. Okay, when they introduce that Karagma, we're going to see who's who. That's when we're going to see what's up. Yeah. Like we're going to see how you're going to react to that. Yep. Are you going to tell your congregation the truth? Are you going to say GMS was always right? Right. Alex Jones was always right? Or are you going to tell them to go ahead and take it? There's nothing wrong with it. We can't wait, man. <laughs> we can't wait till Esau. We wish Esau would stop dragging his freaking feet and make this yeah, goddamn... We want you to come because we're ready, man, to get yeah. our heads chopped off. Yeah, we're going to the fucking prison. This ain't no Come. fucking life, man. Because when that happens, guess what? 
baby, this thing is right around the corner. Yep. That's it. When they set up them chipping stations and they, and they uh, mandate you that you got to take it, that's when every day, that's when the clock is going to speed up. Yeah, oh Lord. So you can do what the fuck you want to do. Yeah. Peace off. Yeah, we wish you would stop dragging your feet and, 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 and you know. Hurry up and fucking do it, man. Just do what you got to do. Fucking you got do it. <laughs> You got the minds of the people. Yeah, heavy up and back. How, how dumber can these people get? Honestly. You're going to get most of the Israelites. Right. Yeah. And, then, and anybody at GMS, go ahead and take it. No, fuck you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unreal. Unreal. Unreal, yeah. These people are you your food. No like the Bible says, children in whom there's no faith. We have faith. You yeah, but Christ. I got kids, man. And I can't feed, I gotta feed, I gotta get my baby some Similac. I can't get no Similac without, like, I'm going to get that chip. My woman about to leave. My, me. My, my woman already got the chip, she stuck around, had the kids get the chip. I might as well go get the chip too. Then I asked the most high to forgive me. Yeah, it don't work that way. The most high, the most high is going to look at you like he looked at fucking Harry. Matter of fact, I, I, I got You don't look at you like, like you fucking Harry. Was oh, that Harry again talking shit? Yeah. <laughs> Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. What'd you say? Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Ye that work iniquity. So you got to be prepared for death. Yeah. You got to be prepared shot. for death. Only how shot prepared his mind for death. Yeah. In the Garden of Gethsemane. He, he prepared. He, I mean, he was he was uh, scared because he had to. He said it. He told the disciples, "My my, uh, how do you say it? My spirit is exceeding sorrowful. Yep. Tarry hit, tarry ye here with me and wait. Yep." So he, he was scared. He, he, you're going to be scared you in the flesh. But, he asked but, the most high three times if there's another way. Yeah. The most high didn't answer him. And he said, okay. That's the well, answer. Not my will, but your will be done. Yep. Which proves that the father and the son is not the same entity. Because right? if this clown broke out alone, it's the same entity. The father, son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, if that's the case, if they're all equal, co equals, why would the Lord say, well, wait a minute, father? I'm always coming down, you know, Get fucked up. Don't you get fucked up? You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's an order. Both sides first, the Howard Shot second. Yep. And and the Howard Shot. Holy Spirit third. Yep. Michael, as great as Michael is, the great prince that's standing for the children of my people. That's right. He's under your Howard Shad. That's right. That's right. There's order. Alright? Yeah. Um, I, I got if you take look, there's no in between. There's no gray area. You take that chip, you die. It's as simple as that. Uh, and this is the judgment here, uh, Revelation 14, 9 and 10. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, now for those of you that don't know, the beast is talking about the, the Roman Empire. Um, America, pretty much this world, but m mainly America is the extension of the Roman Empire. This whole system is based upon the Roman Empire. The, the top banking families, the way they rule, the top banking families, the way they rule is based upon the ancient Roman Empire, which is the beast. That's what the beast is, right? It says, if any man, if any man worships the beast and his image, what is his image? His image is the system, which really, to put a title on it, the New World Order. That's what Esau is trying to bring. As a matter of fact, we always quote this guy, uh, Aaron Russo. Aaron Russo told uh, Alex Jones, he said, look, they want everyone shipped. And that goes back to the New World Order. That's the program of the New World Order. It's on the back of your dollar bill, for goodness sakes. And it's here. It's here. All I got to do is uh, set up the CBDC. Yep. They won't give you a time. They will cut. You know, you, you, can, you can only use this amount of paper per day or whatever. You can only take this amount out. And as the months go by, like uh, Christy Lagarde said that on one of the videos that the brother from England put up, you know the brother from England. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, kind of. the brother by, by himself. Yep. He yeah, got a great beard now, no he was young. Oh yeah, 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 cut, cut, cut. But anyway, I did, I did, I took the video and I put it on my, on my uh, Odyssey account. So this guy, I, I believe, well he said it. He said it was a, there was a guy that was playing Zelensky. And it was a, it wasn't Miss Zelensky. So she was talking to the guy, a guy like he was Zelensky, and she was going all into the CPDC, man. And you know what she said? She said, we're going to have it full running, because they're planning on having it by, by about July. They're going to really, really push it, right? Mm -hmm. 
But she said by about October, that's when it's really going to be in play. So once that's in play, meaning October, December, January, which is uh, 2024, they, they're going to they're gonna totally do away with uh, paper dollars all together. And that's, and that's all part of the New World Order. As a matter of fact, uh, some video I was watching yesterday, uh, uh, this dude, he played a clip from, I forgot the title of the song, this, this song that Eminem did, and he mentioned the New World Order. Yeah. As we move to this New World no, Order. No, towards the New World Order. Towards oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, New yeah, World yeah, Order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's so not that, fiction. That shows you right there. That you better so, lose yourself. He's connected. Oh, he's connected. Yeah, he's, he's inside. But he kind of has second thoughts on it. That's why they fucked him up, drugged his ass up. Because they know a lot of these motherfuckers, they know what's going on. Uh, but but they but a lot of them get the guilt guilt trip. Get the guilt trip, yeah. Especially Jake. Uh, so again, that's that's his image. So we already expre explained to you what the beast is, what his image is, and the, by the way, the New World Order is patent after the ancient Roman Empire. That's why you have the Latin. Uh, the Latin inscription there. Novus Ordo Seclori. Anuit Coeptis, Novus Ordo Seclori. When you break it down, it means Anuit Coeptis, he favors our enterprise with success. Well, even during the time of uh, Antio's Epiphanes, he had the people to oh, yes. get an uh, 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 Ivy League. Ivy League friends. So they actually got bread. So guess what? Nothing new under the sun. It's going to be the Ivy League branch that you're going to get again, but it's going to be a, uh, a digital Ivy League branch. There you go. What does the Bible say? Nothing new under the sun. Yeah. Okay? And we can see these things. One of the reasons why we can see it, because the Haobosh and Yashai made us seers, made us prophets. So why can't you see it, Bishop Nate? They have no vision. Why can't you see it? They have no vision. The Bible General speaks Yohanna. about guys. You lack vision. Oh, wait a minute. The Bible vision. speaks about guys that have no vision. Now maybe they can see it, but they got they get the, either either way. Right. Either way, the Most High got it. a gift right. to stir up the heart. If you know, if you can't see it, that means the Most High didn't give it to you. Close your right. eyes, which means you're not a prophet. Yeah. If yeah. you can not see it, but you're acting like you don't, you, you, you can see it, but you're acting like you don't see it. That means they gave the back. A gift to stir up the heart. Get the heart. Get the heart. So like I said, what I said a little earlier, I said when this thing come to pass, there's going to be a lot of shaking going on. There's going to be a lot of shaking up going on. And the ones of you that look at these guys as gods, and they tell you go ahead and take it, you're going to take it without question. Maybe a handful of you won't take it, but then they're going to look at you like you're crazy. I know the women are going to take it. Especially the women that was doing this shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Doing that shit. They're gonna take it, man. Silly women. I guarantee you, that if Christian McCann you said, go ahead and take it, you're not breaking the law, y'all gonna take it. When I say y'all, I'm, I'm saying like 95 plus percent of y'all are, are gonna take it. And if you take it, it's going to... And if you take it, that's you're gonna be destroyed. You die. Right along with the guy that led you into yeah. that sense, because he led you into it. Remember, the scripture said Ezekiel warned them. Warned them yep. That's part of the warning, man. That's right. Isaiah yep. 62, give them no rest. No rest. Yeah. Fine. Give them warning we're, from we're, me. We're, we're, we're divine a newscast. Right. We tell you what's getting ready to happen. Exactly. And the big thing, the big event that's getting ready to happen is right after the, C, the CBDC, right after, right after everything is digital, okay. they're going to they're gonna introduce you to that karate. So here's the punishment for those that take the chips. So you can say, I'm sorry, y'all. No, you got so it. You can say, so you can say, uh, Captain Bizarre and our high priest is high priest, uh, Alex Jones. Well, guess what? You better start following Alex Jones. Because yeah. Alex Jones is right. He don't know everything. He thinks, Alex Jones thinks he knows everything. He don't, he ain't teaching that America's going to be destroyed by thermal right. destruction. That's right. He's, a, he's another insight. Yep. He's an insight. How the hell do you just sneak into the balloon and walk yeah. in the, while walking through yeah. the, the, the merry, merry the month of May. The merry, merry month of May. Snuck I was strolling through the park one day. <laughs> he snuck into the ball. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You, you just happened to sneak into the Bohemian Grove. Come on, man. And uh, he had uh, a couple of weeks ago, you can watch it. 
Scott Ritter. Y'all know Scott Ritter? Yep. Oh, no, no, yeah, I saw I saw a little okay, bit of it, Scott, yeah. Scott Ritter, right? He was saying if we do, if this keeps happening, we, there's going to be third World War III. World War, we got to stop. Well, wait a minute. You don't understand the scripture. Right. Right. You don't understand the scripture. Yes. World War III is going to come, Most whether you like it or not. And there's right. nothing you can do about it. Why? Because the Most High gave it to the prophets. And, it's, and he didn't give it to one prophet. Right. He gave yeah, it to the, the multiple, major prophets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Daniel, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, John. Hey, the star of, uh, one of the stars of World War III is uh, Russia. Now the Lord said he's going to sanctify himself in God. So World War III has to happen because the Heavenly Father got to sanctify it himself. It will, it will. What's that? It will. Yeah, it, it, it will. It has to happen and it will because the Heavenly Father is going to use that to magnify his name. Yeah. Like he said, I'm... I guess you guys never read Ezekiel the 38th chapter. He said, I will sanctify myself in you, O God. Yeah. Because he's going to raise up God to come against America and Israel and shoot missiles on those places. So yeah. World War III is going to happen. Yeah. The war of Armageddon is going to happen. That's right. The destruction of Babylon the Great is going to happen. Yep. You cannot do anything. Yes, you can't no. fast and pray and get your act. You, motherfucker, you ain't in it. <laughs> yeah. You ain't none of them. Yeah. None of them fucking put fast in prayer, and then the most I got them anyway. They destroyed because, them anyway. Because yeah. they got destroyed anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, guess, guess what? If they call for a fucking fast, yep. uh, America, all the Americans yep. do it. First of all, you got to get them down. He, she's to, to do it. They don't want to do it. Uh, uh, they don't want to do it. Right. You got to get Muslims to do it. Obese right. people, they ain't going to fast. Obese people ain't going to fast. <laughs> People, you know, there's all kind of people that's not going to be with you. Yeah. Are you, you pregnant? Got Nineveh, they got the whole, all the people in Nineveh, right? Yeah. All of them fast. The animals couldn't even eat. Right. Yeah. Trump, you couldn't get, you You ain't going to fucking fast. You like right. to eat, man. Yeah. Right. yeah. So guess what? America will be destroyed. Point blank period. World War Three is coming. Yeah. And it's coming in our lifetime. Yeah. Hey, the Lord said he... My personal belief is... Let's pray that it happens in 2024. Come on. Does any of y'all brothers think about you gonna get out of here in 2023? It ain't happening. No. We're gonna do the rest. We're gonna do the rest of the seven months. Right. We got seven months left before 2024 comes into play. Right. Yep. And hey, the Lord said He must have the host of the battle. He must have, even as we speak, He's doing yeah. that right now. Plus, what about all the the uh, visions that the prophets had of? World War Three. Yeah. Isaiah clearly saw yeah. Isaiah the 34th chapter. From the beginning, yeah, all the way down. Yeah, he saw the destruction that's brought on by World War Three. Yeah. And he said he was going to gather all the armies. That's why it's called Armageddon. How about Jeremiah? Jeremiah yeah. the 50th chapter. Yep, Jeremiah 51. the 51st chapter. Yep. How could that be fulfilled if it doesn't happen? Yep. It whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Yahweh Shai made a statement. He said, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass till it's all be fulfilled. fulfilled. World War Three is clearly in the scriptures. And oh yeah. If, if you're in the spirit, you can read it and you can see the detailed yeah. uh, information in what's being said. Well, yeah, how should I say? Wars and rumors of wars. You yeah. know, these are those commotions that he spoke about. So World War, and we want World War Three. Uh, uh, what did uh, Peter say? Looking, looking for and, and hasting for the coming of, oh, of the day of the Lord. Stop. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, and what's going to bring that that fire You're is those missiles. It, yeah. Man. You're about it. Yeah. yeah, because we it's a, want it to happen. Yeah. We don't. We don't want you to. <coughs> we don't want America to attack. We want well, you. We want you to be destroyed. Oh, and you can't yeah. repent because it's already written. Yeah, because you were already destroyed in another dimension, pretty Wait much. It's written now. Rejoice, thou holy apostles and prophets. Yeah. For the heavenly Father have avenged you, you yeah. on her. And what that is that was talking about? After the destruction. That's talking about the destruction of this place, yeah. man. We're gonna be happy as hell when this place is being Isaiah destroyed. thirteen. It's not talking about ancient Babylon, but you dumb, stupid <laughs> Christian uh, 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 scholars out there, you fucking dummies. I go to your commentary, and you motherfuckers contradict yourself. Yeah. They're all fucking Christian scholars, yeah. but they all got a different fucking answer. Yeah. Confusion. That you all speak the same Confusion. thing. That you all speak the same thing. The, the, the Bible said the Lord is not, the Most High is not the author of confusion. Well, this is Babylon. Every father deal with you. This yeah, is Babylon the, this is Babylon the Great. What's well, that? This is Babylon the Great. Babylon means confusion. Yeah. Oh, that's why in Isaiah 61, gross darkness to people. people yeah. That's you people, man. No, I looked up the word Sodom. 
first time. I didn't notice. Oh. I have to, I must admit, I didn't notice. That's why you gotta look up there. Yep. By a show of hands, do you know what the word sodomy means? I don't. I don't. You know what it means? You, you watched the video? I watched the video and I, I you know, know what it means. What, what do you think it means? It means burning. It means burn. Yeah, burn. Oh, look it up. Oh, yeah, because that's I, why the references oh. in Isaiah 13 and uh, it's Jeremiah, 50, Jeremiah 51 and other places, it said, it said it's going to burn, it said it's, it's, it's going to be like, uh, oh, like Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Yeah. How about Gomorrah? Did you look at it? No, I didn't look. I didn't have okay. to look at it. I don't have to look but at it. Sodom is the main. Is, uh, that's the main. That's the main one. Yeah. Because that, that, that judgment oh, came upon all of them. Cities. Five cities. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sibor, the main city Sibor, was, the, the main city was Sodom and the second was, was Gomorrah. Uh, yep. Gomorrah. Yep. And then that, that pretty much encapsulated the judgment of all five cities. Sodom. The name Sodom. Yeah, yeah. Then I went to Google and I put in Sodom and it was dead like a uh, wasteland. Yeah. Then it says uh, Lot's wife and Philip. Con. So Sodom never came back. Nope. Nope. Sodom never came back. Nope. Oh no. Like America. Matter of fact, hold, hold, uh, hold, uh, hold uh, Isaiah 13. I mean, uh, Isaiah 13 or more. I got a quick precept. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Second Peter 3, because like we said earlier, we're looking for World War 3. We're looking for the destruction of America. Man, you, you have no idea. that's the only way our kingdom is going to come. You have right. no idea, you people out there. You have no idea. Second Peter, the third chapter. Uh, begin at the ninth verse. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, Woo! as some men count oh, slackness, slackness, but is long suffering to us, word, not willing that any, any should, should perish. perish. Why do you say that? Because when the destruction that comes, a lot of people are going to perish. That's why it says, Not willing that any should perish, right? But that all should come to repentance. But the truth is, uh, the only ones that's really going to come. Israelites. Yeah, Christians all Israelites. Yep. All Israelites. Yep. All Israelites. The truth is, the only ones that's going to come to repentance is the elect of the nation of Israel. They're also known as um, the elder pastor mentioned that. They're also known as the preserved of Israel. I kind of like that title, the preserved of Israel. The you know? elect. The elect. The elect. Yeah. The, uh, the Israel of God. That's the, the that's their cluster. What's that? That's their cluster. Yep, the, the cluster. Great, of the great. The yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, you have uh, Galatians six. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, the next verse it says, it says uh, the tenth verse. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. What is that talking about? Give me about? the one in Thessalonians. Is that was that five and three? Those okay, yeah. For those of you that oh, World War Three might not happen. You, you, well, 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 you don't know. Totally bring that. No, no, no. You don't know nothing. Most I ain't dealing with you. Uh, the, the tenth verse. Explain that. What does that mean? Uh, when did that, did, has this prophecy happened yet? The answer is no. We're still waiting for it to happen, man. And what kingdom is going to be destroyed? Esau's kingdom. All this bullshit that Esau, Esau, I'm going on Google. I put in Esau, Esau, it's gone. Last, you know, Vocab was talking. The last time they were mentioned was in 70 AD. No, Vocab, they're wrong. They were living after 70 AD. Because they defeated the Israelites. Right. You had you had Harod and Harod and his men of war, which is, which is his own. Not just one. There was no what. Not one Harod. There was a whole family of Harodians, man. Yeah. It was a dynasty. It was a dynasty. How, dynasty. If you don't know, it means a powerful royal family, a powerful uh, family. And he had his own. They had the Romans, and he had his own personal army. Then you had other Edomites. Then you yeah. had Edomites that's dropping their seeds in the other nations, man. Right? Yep. yep. Hey, Dad, he, he escaped. Uh, he was there for Joab and David. He escaped into Egypt. Yep. And the Egyptian pharaoh, the Egyptian king, set him up to uh, get with his, uh, Daughter. his, wife's, uh, uh, his wife's sister. Hmm. And they had children together. So you got Edomites living among them damn Egyptians, man, the Sudanese. Yeah. Looking dark he as hell. He saw them seed among Ishmaelites. Yep. Among Israelites, that's what, that's what, uh, that's what uh, 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 Matthew 13 was all about, the weeks of the tent. Yeah. Yeah. He said, don't pluck them out, he said, pluck up the weeks along with the tent. Right. He said, let them grow together until the end. Right. Then the angels will separate them. Because right. you won't have, you won't have eaten like black as tall. Right. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, uh, how, how can that prophecy be fulfilled? Second Ezra, for Esau is the end of the world. 
and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. That's yet to be fulfilled. That hasn't been fulfilled. That's yet to be fulfilled. What does it mean Esau is the end of the world? If Esau doesn't exist, how do you explain Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is, have we reached the end of the world? We're, we're pretty close to it. We're close to it, but who's ruling? It says Esau. Another, another thing too, Esau is known as the wicked. Now, Job 9 and 24, what does it say there? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's ruling the earth? The wicked. Esau is also known as the wicked. Read Malachi 1 and 4. So you can't get around it, man. And let's, I, let's say that Esau is done away with. What does Ezra say? Second Ezra 6 say? It said Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the man of God. Right. So is Jacob in rulership? No. no. Don't tell me that the so-called Jews are Jacob. They're not Jacob. No. No. Esau. Years ago, we used to say it to him, Lo Yeah, Atalo Yehudi. Yeah, Atalo Yehudi. Well, they might take You know, we would say Lo Yehudi, meaning you're not Jacob. They don't come out to see the Jacob. They come out to see the Esau, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. Yep. They're not Jacob. That's why they got a smear campaign against us. And we're hate. First of all, America was built on hate. Fucking hell. Yeah. That's an American way. Wait a Being minute. Being a true American is having hate in your motherfucking oh, yeah. heart. Absolutely. If you just love everybody, he said, man, get the fuck out of here. You ain't no you real American. You ain't no real American. <laughs> We're stripping you of your fucking yeah, citizenship. Yeah, 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 you yeah, got yeah, yeah. to have some hate in your heart. You some, yeah, yeah. You're a hater. Yeah. Because you got hate in your you heart. You got to drink that hater rain. <laughs> uh, yeah, so back to second. Stop all that hater rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Second thing that stands in you. Oh, by, for your information, the most I hate. So now what? Malachi 1 and 4, he said, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. The Heavenly Father himself hates. And we gotta hate. We're commanded to hate. That's the commanded to hate. Yeah. I said, do not I hate them, Lord, they hate thee. Woo, I hate them with perfect I hatred. I hate them with, with perfect, perfect hatred. hatred. King David. And King David so was a man. So what's wrong with hate? What's wrong with hate? King David as was a man. As long as you don't, as, as long as you don't act, act Oh, wait a minute. I'm you can you hate what? me all you want. Yeah, we don't care. We don't give a shit. We don't you know? like, 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 uh, what's the Italian dude. Eddie, Eddie Scaparoto. You can call me a cracker, I don't care. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, even, uh, even the group, uh, what's the name of the group? The Birds. They made a song about it. Uh, turn, turn, turn. A time to love, a time to hate. It's kind of right there in the Bible. Yeah. Ezekiel, uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, yep. uh, around the eighth verse. A time to love, go read it. A time right? of hate. A time to love, a time to hate. A How time of war that? and a time of peace. A time of peace. And even, like I said, it was even immortalized in that song, Turn, Turn, Turn by the Birds. I believe it came out in 1966. Hate the evil, love the good. Yeah, hate the evil, love the good. So hate is very much in the Bible. You, you think that the Heavenly Father, all he does is love. That's, that's not balance. The Bible says a false balance is an abomination in the sight of the Lord. Yeah, the Most High is not a... He's a balanced uh, power. What's this guy? Lutheran. Y'all know the story behind Plutios, which is Hades. The Hades. Roman equivalent of Plutios, he was a guy in the underworld. Right. Now, the reason why the wicked get riches is because Plutus is blind. So they're saying, I'm a good guy. They're wicked as hell. So I'm going to give you all the gold and the silver and everything. That's what, that's, that's the, the, the myth. Mm. No, the, the, Greek, the Greek myth. Yep. And they, the, the wicked got over on him because they're telling him that, no, we're right. And that's what this devil does. Yeah. As wicked oh, yeah. as he's the devil himself. He's safe. Oh, he's safe. And he's on, on the news talking about how good he is. Yeah. Well, that's what the devil would do. That's what his, his power is deception. So that's why we, hence, that's why we call you the devil. His power is deception. Angel yep. of light. Yep. Uh, 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 marvel not. It's Satan himself. presents himself as an angel, angel of light. light. Yep. So is his minister. So his power, Esau's power is deception. You're being deceived in this society. The deception is against us. The campaign is against us. That we're wicked, we're evil, we're hateful. We're su supremacists. Supremacists just mean you over somebody, man. Seriously. But me and you, what I used to buy. My thing was to get supremacy over the other guy. Yeah, but that's the, that's the goal. I used to love it, bro. You, now, when you goal. fight, brother, I understand, brother. So you hit a nigga, right, right. You hit a nigga with a hook, and he wobbles. Like in your mind, you're like, oh, yeah, I got him. Got, got him now. Him. No. It's not a tickle. Hey, when the martial art climbed in the ring, you didn't climb in there for a tickling contest. It's not a tickling contest. Hey man, I used to fight, I used to fight motherfuckers like they owe me money. Yeah. 
Well, the, the, the goal is to knock the guy out as quick as possible. Even Bruce Lee said that. He said when you get into a fight, the object is to take the guy out as quick as possible. Bruce Lee said that. All right? You don't go in there and tickle the guy. Hey, come here, let me tickle you. I remember you know? I had one fight with one guy who was drugs. It was on teeth. Was on, I think it was on and I, and I threw a right hand. I missed my right. 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 And I fell into the ropes. Right. But, I, but I thought about the WWF. Right. So let me, let me jump off the rope. So I went like this. I turned around and went bam. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Yeah. 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 I'm going to use the turn fucking right. fuck your ass right, 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 right. I went boop. I, went, I didn't even punch. I just went bam. Right, 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 right. Then I started beating the motherfucker down. The and art of boxing. Like, 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 like Jake Lamotta. Remember Jake Lamotta? Oh, yeah, rocking yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm rocking him like that, man. People be yeah, yeah, yeah. And people love it when you beat. Oh, yeah. Going oh, yeah. They love yeah, blood. They love blood. Yep, yep. That's why the UFC is so popular. Why is the UFC so popular? Because people basically like to see two individuals beat their brains out. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. Bread and six. You know, bread and six. <laughs> you know, when I saw the fight, when I saw the lucky fight, I feel lucky. I saw, uh, I saw uh, Ryan hit the pad, right? He hit him pretty good. Then he went into uh, Tank's dressing room. The way he was hitting the pants, I said, man, I said, take him, kill this guy. Yeah. You, it was like, boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom. I said, take him, kill this motherfucker. You know, everyone, you don't know who's gonna win. I said, no, I know who's gonna win. I said, take him, take out the him with one fucking punch, mm -hmm. and it's over. Boy, he caught him with that liver punch. No, but before that, he caught him with another punch. Oh, yeah. He knocked him down. Second, second round. round. Yeah. But the way he was hitting the fucking pads, boom, right. boom, boom. Yeah. I said, man, in my mind, I said, man, yeah. I said, I said, man, Tank is gonna kill this guy. Yeah. That's yeah. what they call him, Tank. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, you gotta, you gotta know this guy. How, how long he been trained? Three months? They, they trained for fights like this? Yeah. yeah. Trained so, all year round. Yeah. So yeah, when, when they say trained for three, three months or whatever, it means that they got into the camp. Yeah. But so you gotta train all year round. Yeah. So that's why he was the way he was. He's been training for that, for that very moment. Kind of like that song by uh, Phil Collins. I've been waiting all my life for this moment. Well, box, certain boxes used to use that coming into the ring. Yeah, they, and they go for it. I've been waiting for this moment. All my life. All my life. Yeah. And if you go to Google and say how many boxes use that, that song coming to the ring, I bet you you won't get a lot. Uh, uh, yeah. Because it's a powerful somebody song. Somebody do it. Somebody do it if you can. It's a if you can. I'll hold this for you. It's a powerful song. It, 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 it evokes emotion. And, and Phil wrote it because his woman uh, was getting ready to divorce him. When you read the lyrics of the song, basically he's cursing out his first wife. Mm. Basically, that, that's the mother of uh, his son that's now playing the son. And his son plays and looks like it, just like it. Phil Collins' son. I, I forgot yeah, what that is. I believe Phil Collins is Jake. Oh yeah. I definitely got too, got too much flavor. Yeah, you got a lot of flavor. Because he's like a funny guy. Oh yeah. yeah. You no, know, Jake is funny. Though. British he's silly. That's how you can tell Jacob, Jacob. Yeah, like silly. They got flavor. They got flavor. Yarushai said it best. He said, uh, we are the salt of the earth. Salt, salt is flavor. Funny. Yes, I typed in uh, how many boxes came into the ring using that song. Did you put the name Yeah, all my life, right? <laughs> No, the name of it is uh, Phil Collins. In, in, in the air tonight. In the air tonight. Yeah, I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of boxes that use it. Especially boxes from England. In the air tonight. Yeah. 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 Uh, the first one that says. This is from the sun. Why is Floyd Mayweather using Phil Collins in the air tonight? Okay, so Floyd using it. Floyd using it. Yep. And I bet you it's on the title shot. Yeah. When, was it, when you be fighting for the title, I bet you it's for the title shot. He said, on the, on the floor tonight, why is Floyd Mayweather using Phil Collins in the air tonight check as out, his ring? Music? Check out the, the source. Check out the source. The sun. That, that's okay, uh, right. a British uh, title. Yeah, from the UK. Yeah, from the UK. 
Uh, like, a, like a bus to Yep. Because it's the guy, uh, Phil Collins. From oh, that's right. Uh, in the air tonight, as his ring music, and when when else was it used in boxing? Um, and it's got a list. We know he used it. Uh, I'm trying to see if they got any other boxes. This I'm sure they got more. When, when else was it used in boxing? Underdog Riddick Boat used the early 80s classic as his walkout music when he took the WBA, WBC, and IBF heavyweight titles from legend Amanda Holyfield in 19... Yeah, because that was his first shot at the title, so it's like, how do you wait for, you know? I thought this is how big he was when you check, you said, so that proved that Phil Connell was a chick, man. Con, but you got some moves. Yep, it says, uh, the, song, the song was again used to produce an upset in 2005 when Bernard Hopkins suffered his first defeat in 12 years to Jermaine Taylor for the world middleweight title. Yeah, he was dry, he was too dried up, too dried out. Keep me at one six, I do it like six fucking two, six fucking. It says, it says, however, the song has not always been associated with victory as showcased by Brit Audrey Harrison. Harrison strutted into the ring to face David Hay in Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Audrey and Harrison, he really thought, yeah, he, he went up, man. Everybody thought he was going to be champ, but he fought David Hay. That motherfucker fucked him up. Hit him with them haymakers. I hit him with the hay. That only, that's what they call him. That's his nickname. Oh. David Haymaker Hay. Oh, yeah. 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 He looks like, he looks like, uh, he looks just like Tariq Nashi. He would be a twin brother. Okay. Out of England. Mm. He be shit talking. That's that Harrison strutted into the ring to face David Hay in Manchester in 2010 to in the air tonight but even Phil Collins couldn't save him as the haymaker knocked him out in the third round. Damn. Uh, that's it, that's it. That's okay, it. That's so we made the point. Yep. We made the point. Yep. I'm gonna go back to second Peter the third chapter the ten verse. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And and by the way that's when World War Three is going to happen on the day of the Lord. At the same time, Yahweh Shai is going to be coming back to uh, destroy the society and set up his kingdom. You got the one in First Thessalonians? Yep. Yep. Yahweh Shai is going to be coming back at, on the same day World War Three happens to uh, set up his kingdom. First deliver his elected course and then set up his kingdom on the planet. Okay, the reason why I asked for that precept. Yeah. Read that again. Uh, Second Peter 3 and 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Will it come as a thief in the night for everybody? No. no. It's not going to come to the elect as a thief in the night. Because we're constantly looking for this destruction to come. We're constantly watching the news, the financial news, CNN, this news, that news, these alternative news medias, Alex Jones. Yes, we do watch Alex Jones, Captain Tazariak, and Captain Katazak. We do watch, we do watch him, and yes, he's right about the MOTV. But guess what? We didn't get it from him. Dig it. We, all, we, we didn't get it. We already caught it. We already had it before right. fucking back when the Alex Jones was Bill, Bill Hicks, the comedian. Right. So y'all don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex, Alex Jones used to be in, in 1995, he was, he was a Bill Hicks. In 1996, he became Alex Jones. We said, we said the real Alex Jones, they pushed out of the way. You got something? Yeah, that's damn fun, man. Yeah. Well, what, what was you looking for? First, first Thessalonians 5 and... We started one. First, first Thessalonians 5 and 1. First and 1. It says, but of the times and, and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Go ahead. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Go ahead. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Go ahead. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Now why is it not going to overtake us as a thief? Because we're watching every day. 
we doing video, we do videos every day. We in front of the computer every day. Right. If I if one if I miss one day I didn't do the video, the next day I'll do two or three things. Yeah, first uh, Thessalonians five and four again. But ye brethren are not in darkness, is talking to us that know the knowledge, know the truth. We're not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. See, the rest of the world is, is in, in darkness. No, if there's nine billion people on the earth, damn near nine billion people don't know about this. Yeah. What is it, eight, eight billion, nine hundred million people don't know about this. There's only a handful of people that know about this. Yeah. And you got brothers in this truth, not just in GMS, but in other camps that go along with it, but they really don't believe it. I right. can see it. I can see this motherfucker up yeah. in smoke. Yeah. I can see it up in smoke, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, again, the fifth verse. Ye are all the children of light. Well, let me Hold on, wait a minute. You are all the children of light. Does that apply to you fucking white Christians? No, Does that no. apply to you, Vocab Malone? No. Who's all the children of light? The Israelites. Israelites. That's why life. that's why the scripture said in Luke, the children of this world are wiser than the children, the children of, children of light. light. They're wiser than their generation than the children of light. Yep. Who's the children of light? The Israelites. The Israelites. No, the elect is the elect. Yeah, the elect. Yeah. Well, Israel as a whole. Yeah. yeah. But the, but the true light, the, the true light is the elect. Right. Yep. That's right. <laughs> and the, the elect starts with how we shine. Uh, there's a scripture where, where it says he was that light. Yeah. Uh, when he lightly afflicted the man of Zebulon. Uh, oh, no, what's that? Isaiah 9? Yep. Yahweh Shai said the, the light starts with Yahweh Shai. And if, you, if you're teaching that we don't have the name of the Father and the Son, you ain't got no light. Your, your light is darkness. Oh, yeah. yeah. The elect, the elect yeah. of the Most High would know the name of Yahweh. Your light is darkness. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Come on, man. Your light is darkness. So you're teaching that we don't know the name of the Father and the Son. When Herod is, I, I quoted this earlier, Yahweh Shai said, Lo, I am with you even to the ends of the world. How the hell is the spirit of Yahweh Shai going to be with us? We're not going to do it. Like that. What kind of sense is that? Right. And, and, and we know the name that was given by the angel Gabriel. When the angel Gabriel gave Joseph and Mary the name, he didn't give it to the name in a foreign language, man. He gave that name in Hebrew. All right? He gave that name in Hebrew, ancient Hebrew. The angel Gabriel, when he spoke to Joseph and Mary about what to name their son, he spoke to them in ancient Hebrew. Yeah. So the only way you can know the name of the right. son is in ancient Hebrew. Yeah. All right? You people ain't got nothing to say, man. Yeah, because he said your name is Yeh his name shall be Yahweh He wasn't speaking English. The right. angel Gabriel, when he spoke to Joseph and Mary on that fateful day, he wasn't speaking English. Right. He was speaking Hebrew. So when he told Joseph and Mary what to name their son, he told them in Hebrew. Hey, so, that's, I'm yeah, sorry, that's why, the, that's why the Apostle Paul spoke to, um, Yahweh Shai spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. Yeah, yeah in the Hebrew tongue, and, and it's clearly written. Yeah. And, and then the Apostle Paul asked the entity that knocked him off the horse, he said, who art thou? Right. And then the entity said, I am Yahweh Shai. Yep. He didn't say I'm Jesus. Right. The, the Jesus don't exist, man. Yeah, I was looking up the English language, the beginning, the origin of the English language. Right. The origin of the English language goes back about five or was it 500 AD. Right. But that English back then you couldn't yeah. understand. That was the old it. English, right? That was the old English, yeah. man. That was some crazy ass the, the, when we started really understanding like the English that we speak today to go back as far as maybe the seventeen hundreds. Right. You know, maybe the sixteen hundreds. But it was different back then. If you go back to the sixteen hundreds it was yeah. different. Right. But it kept evolving. Yeah, the old old English is probably like a Latinized way of well, speaking German, English. German, Latin, German, right, German, Latin, Latin, yeah, yeah. A lot of German. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that brother, he'd be reading that Bible. Um, brother, not to, not to Zach, GMS South Carolina. He'd be reading that Bible and you could see the words uh, spelled different. Right. Right? You could see the words. It's English, but it's spelled, the words are spelled yeah. different. So that's that old English that, oh, Pastor, what was it called? Elizabethan? Yeah, that, that was one I think that was like 17. And I think Queen Elizabeth was on the scene around the 1500s. Right. Somewhere around the 1500s. Right. So, yeah. So, so we study everything, man. You know, the English oh, yeah. language, you ask yourself, well, what did the English language was born, you know? Yeah. So, guess what? Michael the Archangel, 
when he when he when he uh, went to uh, the parents of Yahweh Shai, that was what? That was 1500, 1500 years before the English language. So where in the fuck did he speak English? Right. Yeah. But you stupid ass, wacky ass. <coughs> so his name is impossible for his name to be Jesus. But, G but Jesus, not even, but that's the English way of saying Jesus. What does Zus mean? Right. Yeah, you went to that in the video. What does J, J what mean? What does J mean? That's yeah. not English. It's, two, it's a two syllable sound. Yeah, because the J was nothing more than an elongated I. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That came about by a man by the name of True Tresino. Yeah. You got it first from us. Right. That's you right. GMS. 1524. 1524. Tresino. You remember the first name? Gian, Gian, John. Gian. Gian, Gian. John, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, three and names. That, and that language was called the Renaissance language. Mm. They had re Renaissance consisted of the language, the art, and right. everything else. Right. That deals with Renaissance. And now, what does it mean by Renaissance? It means rebirth. rebirth. It means there was a power one time, time, they lost the power, then it came back into power. Right. That's Revelation 20, right? That's right. That's right. Yep, and this is why it's important to know the true name. When the when the Hawashai told that woman, the Lord is looking for who? The true worshippers to yeah. worship the Father in what? The spirit and the truth. Yep. The true worshippers will know the name. They'll know the name of the Father and they'll know the name of the Son. Because they're the true worshippers. Right. So now um, Proverbs thirty and four it says, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Talking about the power of the heavenly father. Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name if, if thou canst tell? If thou canst tell. So if you talking about God and Jesus, then <coughs> you, you ain't the one that can tell. You're on the low level. Right. Matter of fact, these Christian scholars will tell you that Jesus is not his name. There you go. The blue letter tell you that Jesus is not his name. But it goes back to the word jo uh, uh, Joshua. Now I did a video, at the end of the video, I pulled out the Old Testament, uh, the, the New Testament Hebrew, and I showed you in Acts, I believe it's 743, where it says Jesus. Yep. It actually says Jesus. Right. And which then, is, uh, which is I, Joshua. What would I do? What other scripture I went to? Uh, Hebrews 4. I forget what I went, I went to. I went to... Uh, There's another one in Hebrews 4. I went 4. to G Jesus in uh, Acts 743, I believe. Yeah. And then when you look the word up, the word there is Joshua. Right. But then it tells you about Joshua in the scripture. Okay. So if you want to put Jesus every place, why didn't you put Joshua? Right. right. Deceptive. Deception. Deception. Yeah, just like when you go and look at the Hebrew word for the Lord's name, it says Yahshua Y instead of saying Yahweh Shai. You know? But if you keep going back, they give you the strong. Right. They said the strong definition is Yahweh Shai. Yep. yep. I got the and then even the blue letter goes off on that. They say Yahweh Shai means Yahweh Say. It doesn't mean Yahweh Say. Nope. It means he delivered. Yep. He saved. That's why the angel said, You he shall call his name how shall I for he shall, shall save, save his people. Right. The people. From their and sin. The blue yeah. be going off. Not that much, but they go off they go yeah. off about a good eight percent of their words. They go off on a lot of things. Yeah, and it's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be the name of the father and the son is supposed to be hard to find. Because there's a scripture, Proverbs 18 and 10, it says right. the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into, into it. it and it's safe. So, yeah, the name is supposed to be hidden. Right. You know when the name is going to be magnified? We quoted it earlier. When when the Heavenly Father put the Spirit on God, which is Russia, to come against America and Israel and bring World War III, that's going to serve to magnify the name of the Heavenly Father, the house. Yeah. Everybody's going to know that name. Just right. like the deliverance of Egypt. Right. Yeah, Just yes. a, and, and you know what, what, what confirmed that? The, the, the harlot Rahab. Yeah. When, when Joshua sent the spies, the harlot Rahab said, "Look, we have heard what they have, what the old God have done for you." So his name, and he, and, and, and uh, the apostle Paul said that. The apostle Paul said, uh, uh, "For this purpose have I raised up Pharaoh, right. that I might magnify Myself. my name in his yeah. destruction." Yeah, because when the most, when the Most High delivers us and destroys this place, when the kingdom is established, everybody going, ain't no, the Arabs ain't gonna be calling Allah. <laughs> Talking about uh, I'm, a, I'm I'm in the Ramadan. Yeah. There gonna be no Ramadan. None of that. The no sir. There oh. gonna be no five <laughs> bowing down five times a day. That's right. 
Oh man, you seen that, that video? Disgusting. Now that should wake you, you boneheaded so-called Arabs up. That should wake There was you like up. a million roaches. It's like a million roaches big from underneath the carpet. Man. Big motherfucker. Come on, too. man. That was a well, that's that's the hand that's of a, that's a deep, that satanic spirit under there. Yeah. yeah. That was the hand of Yahweh man. Yeah. And then yeah. you know what that remind me of? The plagues that the Lord brought upon Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a Man, that looked that looked disgusting, man. Yeah, yeah they were they were they were scattered yeah, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell me that's not the hand of the heavenly father. Man. This is recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. They, they were crawling up people's legs, they were going like this. Well, that's a curse. Yeah. And the ten plagues were going Egypt. Yep. What was our lot? What is your vacation? All them ro and roaches represent filth. That yeah. roaches represent filth. So that was the, the heavenly father Yahweh. Through his son Yahweh Shai making a statement. This carbon stone is filthy. Yeah. And I'm not with it. Well, he's coming to visit that. Then he's coming to destroy that. The idols of Egypt. Well, They'll be yeah. visited. They'll all be destroyed. I got a question. <laughs> Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 17 to 10. Because like his Lord said, In that day alone will the Lord be magnified. There you go. Mm. That's why the Lord is raising up Russia to come against America so he can sanctify himself in yep. America's destruction. He said it in yeah. Ezekiel the 38 chapter. And it's going to happen for you. you oh, yeah. Tucker Carlson, you ran into us. Yeah. You're watching us. America's going to be destroyed. Yeah, so, and you lied. Oh, well, he got fucked up. Yeah. He said, but why am I going into slavery? <laughs> See, they're concerned about them. Yeah. They don't want to go into slavery. And then when you when you use a logical brain and you think about it, you say, well, wait a minute, man. We should go into slavery. We put them in well, slavery. Yeah. But that was my forecast. But guess what? There's a thing called reincarnation in the Bible. Yeah. That is another thing that you Christians can't goes over your head. Reincarnation. You want to fuck up a Christian? Oh, yeah. Go into reincarnation. Yeah. Well, to back up Pastor, that's why it's written in Zechariah 11 and 5, whose possessors hold themselves not guilty. not guilty. So that's why they feel they shouldn't have to go into slavery, because they feel they're not guilty for the wickedness that their forefathers did, which they are their forefathers. Right. And that's, that's, what, the, that's the hook. Yeah. That's the hook, man. They, the that hook. reels them well, in. That was my foreparents. They were wicked. I'm mean, this and that. Well, guess what? You are your foreparents. I already I would say, yeah. you are your foreparents. Coming back. They're coming back. Yeah. Everything is reincarnated. Do you know what you did in the past life? Well, you know. Now, no Please remembrance. Ask, you want to tell different? You don't know. No, no remembrance, yeah. Well, even if you say, well, that's yeah, not I don't give a damn what the fuck you did or didn't do. Yeah, yeah. Even if you You're say, still going into captivity. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Hey, well, even if you say that's my forefathers, Isaiah 14 and 21, mm -hmm. we used to bring that out back in the day. Yep. Isaiah 14 and 21, prepare slaughter for his children. Yep. For the iniquity of their fathers. Because your father ain't around. You got to get it. You got to get it. You got to get it on you. Yeah. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquity. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. And that's exactly what Yahweh Shai, well, the slaughter starts with Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh Shai comes back, you know how many people Yahweh Shai is gonna kill, man? Honestly, Yahweh Shai gonna do a lot of killing, man. Why do you think it's written, the slain of the Lord shall be many? Yep. It's Isaiah 66 and 15. The slain of the Lord shall be many. The Lord, Yahweh Shai is going to kill a lot of people, man. All right? Okay. And it's not just Yahweh Shai. It's Yahweh Shai and the angels that are coming with him. Michael the Archangel is going to be one of them. Michael the Archangel, that angel is all about war. That and angel, guess when Michael the Archangel is coming? He's coming during the time of Jacob's trouble. Yep. And he's all about war. That that angel is all about war. Michael the Archangel. Who's like the Most High? Who's like the Most High? Hey, the Most High is a man of war. In other words, Yahweh Shai, he coming for war, he said, Michael, I want you to roll with me. Yeah, yeah. Now you know that he means business. He gonna bring Michael? You know he means business. He oh, yeah. ain't coming to play. That's why we're so diligent. That's why, and, and, and part of diligence, we keep ourselves humble, because we want to be on Yahweh Shai's good side. We don't want to be on his bad side. As it is written, what, uh, kiss the sun, he needs be to angry. be angry. We're trying to kiss the sun over here. We're trying to get on Yahweh Shai's good side. You so said, you said that everybody in GMS, like in the movie Platoon, I want every swing and prick and kill. <laughs> well, guess what? Everybody that's a member of GMS, you got to constantly do videos. Absolutely. 
constantly do video. Yep. On your every day, two times a day. Yeah. Every day. If it's spread up on you, do three, do three. If it's spread up on you, do one, do one. Yeah. See, those guys at the IUIC, they're trying to get on Nate's good side. Because <laughs> they believe he's, he's, good, he's the savior. Well, they believe he's the God. Right. We're trying to get on Yahweh's good side. Okay. All right. That's the one in the heavens that sits or stands at the right hand of the Father. We say, we say what Paul says. Follow me as I follow Yahweh's shot. That's yep. It. That's right. We're trying so to. They're not following uh, Nate as he follows Yahweh's shot. Uh, Nate is not following nobody. That's Nate the, is following the, that's Christ. The, uh, you know, that's the, uh, the gospel according to Bishop Nate. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he, it's a back of Paul said he follows his lusts and passions. And when he did that video, he went going into the new moon and the full moon. He was snickering, and I know him by he was snickering. He yeah. said, "Yes, God, he you. teaches." Of course, the boss moon. Yeah. And then if you if he and then he put up a, a they put it put up a, a picture of a charted new moon, and the new moon was a moon where you didn't see that. And he said, "Well, they got it wrong." Nope, they got it right. Right, you got, got it wrong. And what he did was slick. Yeah. He, he went to Genesis uh, 1 and 14, and he said there was two light. Remember, it was a light. So that's the first. No, it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's the first day. The, 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 the high holy days, the, the, the following of the new moon came about when they went into the wilderness. Right, right. And who was there to see it? Man wasn't even formed. Right. Man was formed on the earth for the 20. The fifth day. Which is like the 21st, 20. Yeah, but 21st, the 20th, 21st, yeah. Around here when you put them in water, 26th person, next yeah. man, 26th person. Yeah. Well, who is he showing? He's showing so you what the moon looks like. Who, the angel, the angel going to show other angels what the moon looks like? Right. <laughs> when man was placed upon the earth, right? Right. Right. When they came out of the waters, right. the sun, the moon, everything was there. The stars were already there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Before yeah. one, Absolutely. before Adam. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you, so you're being slick. Yeah. Absolutely. You're being fucking slick. Like yeah. he always did. See, there's two lights. It was a light. No. No. Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. It says, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. That's Isaiah 14, 2, right? Uh, this one is Jeremiah 30 and 16. That's what you just read? Yep. Okay. Sounds similar to Isaiah Con. 14, 1 and 2. Yep. You want, yeah. me to go, want me to read that one? You don't mind? Oh, I'm sorry. What's that? I'm going to ask you to read it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Because it says every one of the Bible Yep, yeah, every one, yep. Therefore, all they that devour, oh, like Tucker Carlson said, why well, I gotta go into slavery? Well, well, well if you're an Edomite, you go into slavery. Now, like I said, I said, are you Irish? Are you this? I'm trying to help you out. Right. Now, you could be an Israelite. You got a lot of Israelites that look just like Edomites. Kind. That's true. And we teach this. And you know they fired them from Fox. Yeah. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. And you know they fired them from, from Fox. Kind. You ever watch more Fox? That dude be telling the truth. Yes. He's basically like another Alex Jones. That's why I can't believe he's saying this shit on Fox. So they got tired of him. He said he's telling too much of truth. And they canned him, man. They canned him. Makes sense. Good. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. <laughs> yeah, all they that, that devour thee. Now, when you go in the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter, it tells you all the nations that devour us. You know, beginning with the nation of Edom, right? All they that devour. What does it mean devour us? Meaning when, when we were in slavery underneath them, they took everything from us. Yeah. All right? They took our lands, they took they took they took our women, our wives, they took everything. That's what it means. They that devoured you. And let's get one thing established. All the nations didn't put us in the captivity. But most of them did. The majority of them. The ones that didn't, guess what? They're still going to slavery. Right. They're still going to be under us. They're yeah, still going to be established. Yeah, they all had, in, in the book of Lamentations, the second chapter, they, they actually got happy. And they yeah, they had a part of us going down. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, One they, way or another, all the nations were against us. They all hated us. All The truth is that all the other nations hated us. You know why? The main reason because we're the Lord's they chosen They called people. it the Jerusalem, a wicked city. Yeah, we're the Lord's chosen people. So it's a thing of jealousy. 
The Lord made us Israelites the chosen people. We just had an Bible read that in a long time. It says that, that wicked city. I don't know if that's in Esther. I'm not, I'm not Esther. I'm not Esther. It says it. That might be Ezra. Is that Ezra? Ezra 4? It's one of the pieces that we always bring out. He said, don't let them build that wicked city. There's oh, okay. something to the fact uh, that they don't pay toll to the king. Right. First Ezra 2.18. Go ahead and read it. Be it known now, be it now known unto the king, Lord King, that the Jews that are up from you to us, being come into Jerusalem, that rebellious and wicked city. That's what I want. That rebellious and wicked city. There's a rebellious and wicked city. Do build the marketplace places and repair the walls of it and do lay the foundation of the temple. Now what's that in uh, what is that? Is that second is that third century uh, or is that Esther four? What's that? The one where the, they said we put the bill. God. Yeah, for uh, yeah, that's yeah, Ezra four. Ezra four, yeah. The first Ezra, Ezra four. Ezra, go to that, go to that. Yeah, Ezra chapter four. Ezra in the Bible. Yeah, in the Bible. Yep. Ezra four and one. Now, when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity, the adversaries of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi were the people around about them. All the nations around about them. Go ahead. It says. Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple unto the Lord power of Israel, then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your power as you do. So they, so they said, we, let's build with you, for we seek your power as you do. Go ahead. It says, And we do sacrifice unto him, since the days of Asarhaddon, king of Ashur. Now when you look up Asarhaddon, what is that talking about? That's talking about when they, uh, they were pushed out of, uh, Jake was pushed out and the king put put them heathens in and set up a, a priest Yep. for them to keep the laws. So they started teaching that they were the people. Right. They didn't say, well, we're heathens keeping the laws. <coughs> and that was in the land of Samaria. You got people, certain Israelites, I know some Congress that like the woman at the well was an Israelite. The woman at the well was not an Israelite. She was one of them people that we're reading about right now. Right, right. Another thing was the woman was a Greek. A Syrophoenician. Syrophoenician. I believe, I, I, I posited that Sakari teaches that, that, that she was a, uh, another nation. She was and, I, and I believe, and I believe I'm not mistaken, well. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation. Meant what? She was an Israelite. She was right? Israelite. Yeah. That didn't know that she was. A, she was like Cornelius coming into the fold. Right. Israelite foreigner. Right. But the woman at the well, she was not an Israelite. Right. That's why Yahushua made a distinction. He said, "We know what we worship." Right? Yeah. The salvation is of the Jews. Yeah. Yahushua told him the same thing that Zerubbabel and them told the them heathens. Yeah, because she was boasting about our fathers in this mountain. Which, how should I put her in a place? Go ahead. It says, which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel and Joshua and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto her unto them, You have nothing to do with us to build an house unto our power. So that was the actual physical house. Right? Yep. The temple that we're building now is a spiritual temple. So guess what? You got people that want to build when the vocab comes and when these Christians, bone-headed Christians come up, they try to say, well, the Gentiles, this is uh, super sub. All right, all right, peace out. All right, all right. Uh, super, uh, super uh, Some Jake. Yeah. I think you've come through here every once in a while. I think he said, I think he said peace, peace and love. Peace and love, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Sound like you said Chicago. I lost my thought. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Different language. You want to read it again, Pastor? Yeah, yeah, I lost my thought. It says, But Zerubbabel and, Je and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, You have nothing to do with us to build an house unto right, our so power. The Christians are trying to get in. Right, Volkab and, and the video that Messiah, you guys, yeah. Messiah, yeah. Yep. and yep. Messiah was cutting them, them up. And oh, yeah. basically that was easy work. It was easy work. It was yeah. easy fucking work, man. 
Because I had to do a video on it. You did a video yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, did a, everybody yeah, and their mama did a video yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, su I'm, su I'm surprised that the Buchanan didn't do a yeah, yeah, yeah. video yeah. on it. Yeah. It's, in the, it's in the pipeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. It, you know, yo, that dude should have been an excellent drummer, man, because he don't miss a beat. <laughs> Let's dance to the drummer beat. See, I'm not saying that to be funny. That's the spirit of y'all watching y'all shot on the oh, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you can clearly see it. That ain't him. We are talking about uh, the no, no, Rebuchanator. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the spirit of Yahweh Shalom. That's why he does what he does. Right, because Hassan was saying the right things. He was, oh yeah, yeah, him too. He was hitting the right yeah. script in the water. Yeah, but you know, I had, to, I, had to, I had to do it and stop and hit the script so I'm not the script that I can't, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Now the guy that looked like a small hat, he knew the script. He just didn't understand the script. Right. The guy that was kind of going, not the nigga in the back. Not Uncle no, 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 no. You talking about the other one that had kind of like a fro? Yeah, like a fro. He was real. Like a small yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he could. I said he might be a Jake. I said he. Right, right. But he, well, he could have been like a white, a white, white. He knew. He knew his way he around. Knew, he knew. He knew how to navigate. Right. Scripture. But he didn't understand. But he didn't understand it. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't understand the fact that anytime because he said that he said, see, you guys use Gentile and Gentile in New Testament. And then when it's something good, a blessing for the Gentiles is Israelites, and if it's not, it's not. Well, that's the case. That, yes. that, that's the breakdown. That's the yeah. breakdown. Well, well, Anytime it says the Gentiles will be this, and they're going to get fucked up, yeah. that's all, that we already automatically know. They ain't talking about Israel. Yeah. They're talking about them other nations. Right? Yeah, the Lord wrote, wrote it that way purposefully. It's yeah. Not, the Bible's not meant for everybody. To, it's not a book you, you know, late at night, you strike the fire, and you get the warm cocoa, and you curl up. Oh, like, let me just read the Bible. Read it, yeah, read it like a... Read like that a, kind of book. Read it like it's a Hurley Quinn novel. Yeah, yeah, a Hurley Quinn, <laughs> Quinn novel. It ain't that kind of book, man. Yeah. All right? A feel-good book. Well, let me... Well, I haven't read it in... in a, it's been a few I got to go I back to read my Bible again. What, what the hell for? Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's like reading a map in Chinese. You know those people that got the bookshelf? You know, the, 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 the bookshelf? They don't read them books. But, yeah, that's they just, got... It's off the show, but, you know, but every now and then, though, they, you know what? It's been uh, a few months. I haven't read my Bible. They're like uh, my man, uh, Burgess Meredith, an obsolete man. It's been hidden. It's a, it's a crime punishable by death. I'm gonna. I don't know what you're gonna do, Chancellor. But uh, for me, I'm gonna sit and read my Bible. The fool has said this. <laughs> it was kind of man. <laughs> the fool has said there, there is, is no secret the, uh, there is member no. of TMS. Oh, he was hitting them. He was hitting them. He was hitting them. He was hitting them. Script. Script. Yeah, the fool upset. <laughs> <laughs> the Paul, chancellor. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, Paul Mooney jumped out and said, "What do you want me to start cutting?" <laughs> then that clock started going on. Yeah, the yeah, chancellor was yeah. getting all nervous. That, yeah. that was Volcat. That was. <laughs> Oh, Volcab is nervous. The man. state oh, has man. proven that there is no yeah. God. Oh, he was, he was, he was boisterous, boy. But when, when, man, that was a master stroke. All of you brothers should see that, that, that uh, twilight, twilight zone, zone episode. episode called uh, uh, Obsolete Man. Obsolete Man. That, that, that. Chance that, came back. They put him on trial. Yeah. Because yeah. he demonstrated lack, demonstrated lack of courage. He said, "You are coward." <laughs> the other guy. The guy that was below him, yeah. he now moved up. The same guy. He said, you have proven yourself to be a coward. Yeah, and yeah, one yeah. of the guys that condemned him, he also was in one floor of the Cooper's bus. Remember that big hey. Italian, hey, see, see, he, he wasn't even real young. The oh, guy that said it, the one floor of the Cooper's bus, I can't walk, I'm tired. And I think of uh, 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 Jack Nicholson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When I was here when he was young, you could see him at the same big nose. Oh, okay. You know? I, I know I noticed, you know, I know I noticed things like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Go ahead, but we ourselves together. Yeah, we've been noticing something. You, you had to notice shit. Yeah, you had to notice shit. And we hey, we noticed the the, the market of beast is coming. Oh yeah. We we noticed that the new moon is the, is uh, when the moon is you know, when you can't see nothing, all right? So we notice a lot of things. Oh, another thing I did a video, I was going into uh, the snake, the poisonous snake that jumped on uh, the Apostle Paul, the yeah. uh, Bonnet, Bonnet Paul, but the other one when he was killing the people was on the Isle of Malita, 
Right. Then it was um, when he was healing people on another island that they said the, the gods have come down in the form of men. Right. 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 Yep. Yep. But it was two different yeah. situations. The part where he got bit by a snake was a different part. I think it was uh, Acts 28 or something. Right. Right. I go back to it, but yep. in Acts 14, it speaks about how them people, them heathens, he was healing, he was healing the sick. And then the wicked scribes and Pharisees found out about it, and that's when they stoned him. Uh -huh. Why they stoned him? Because they didn't want Paul to preach and give salvation to those Gentiles, right. but those Gentiles were Israelites. Right. Right. And he said, oh, that's another one of you. He said, this, these men are gods. The gods have come down right. in the form of men. Yeah. And Paul said, we're not gods. We're men and have the same same passions as you have. Yep. Right. So wait a minute. He, they, they lifted him up as a god. Right. Paul said, yeah, you got that right. right. No. Yeah. He said, we're men just like you. Right. Yeah. Right. So why so why, so why, why did Bishop Nate get up on the horse? He was elevating himself over everybody else. Yeah. 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 That's totally dangerous. So the most high, the most high going to visit you, man. But yeah, you, you, you reach the top, like, like the song said. You reach the top, get ready to drop. How high, what are you going to the next pass? You're going to come down into the spaceship. Yeah, yeah, you are going to go rent the, you going to go to the heavens and rent the spaceship yeah. from Yahweh uh, uh, A hand down glider. Huh? A hand glider. Yes. <laughs> go ahead. It says, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord power of Israel. But you notice, right, he said, I know, uh, I know we caught it, uh, he said that there won't be no more big Passover. He said that, because they yeah. received, I guess at that time they received death threats. He said, that's what he said, right? They received death threats. He death. didn't say, no, I don't remember him saying that. No, he said bomb threat. I don't know, I don't know what you say that here, that's what you know. I believe it. that they were kind of infiltrating. Because you got all the people up in there, you know there's infiltrators up in there, man. Yeah. yeah. So well, wait a minute, all them big, big, them big, well, okay, you can be right. Yeah, yeah. But all those big mega Passover, for all them years, yeah. we got the best Passover, now you're saying the, the next Passover, you said it's going to be small. Well, guess it's what? Yeah. We've been, guess what? No shit, Sherlock. We've been doing that since what? Exactly. 2015, yeah. man. Exactly. Well, that's it. He always the small follows. Small Passover, man. Yeah, yeah. He always follows. He, he always bites us. That's what he does. Now it's going to be a small Passover. Well, that's kind of heavy because the Lord allow you to elevate yourself. So now maybe the Lord's going to, you know, humble you. If you be a man of the Lord, he's going to humble you. Because you, how are you going to outdo yourself? You came on a horse. What are you going to do next? Come on, on a giraffe. Come down on a helicopter. Yeah. On, a, on, a, on a dinosaur. It says, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord power of Israel as King Cyrus the king of Persia hath commanded us. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building. Yep. And, and pretty much that's what they're doing today. Yeah, they're trying to weaken our hands. Both trying to weaken our hands. Yep. Man, well, folk have, if yes. anything, folk have strength in this. Uh, yeah. Well, that's we what it, love when yeah. he makes this video. He made, he made a video uh, earlier. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, but now uh, IUIC is going on reservation. And they had the one guy that kind of cursed him out. Mm. Try to push this, you know. I, I was watching some of it, but y'all, you know, I had to do what I had to do. But I'm going to do a video on that, man. And I'm basically, I'm going to say, look, I'm going to say, I might even title it. Uh, IUIC, IUIC didn't go off on this. Mm. No, they always go off, but that's not. They went to the reservation and they were teaching. And I said, there's nothing wrong with it. They can go to the reservation because our people is on the reservation. Right. Mm -hmm. But they didn't accept it. The dad I didn't accept it. Talking about mean, mean, which the one guy, the big fat guy, eating a lot of fucking uh, fried dough bread. Yeah, dough, uh, what do you call it? Fried bread. Fried bread, fried bread yeah. Eating too much fried bread, man. Right? He was, he was kind of cursing them out. You know, you can't tell us what we are. We know who we are. We, he said, we're part of the chicken crew or whatever. You know, he did say that. He said that. He said, I'm, 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 I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm chicken also crew. part of this nation. I'm also part of the chicken crew. And then even 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 uh, this guy, uh, woke out one to laugh, but he fixed his mouth not to laugh. I said, what the, what the fucking... But he mentioned Jesus. I believe in Jesus. 
you can't be coming on our reservation telling us what to do. And I said, good, that's all good. Yeah. I'm not mad at you. Because yeah. the most high, obviously you ain't going to be elected. Right. But the, the fact that the IUIC went on a reservation was the right thing, what does the scripture say? After the, after the first and second admonition. Reject. 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 So you go on a reservation, tell them, they give you dirty looks, you yeah. try to tell them again, but you won't. And then, oh, it said that they call the cops on Mm. Now, what does that remind you of? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We went up to the Shinnecock up yeah, in Long Island, Nate, Nate and guess who was there? Nate was there. He was there. With his, with his, with his weaves and his fake Ghana choker. Back then, he was a Ghana. Now, he's a Judah, right? Right, right? Yeah, I didn't there know was that, Rob, did you? There was uh, Nate, there was uh, Samatman, and there was a Simeonite brother. I forget that brother's name. I was cool with He had died. He stroked down the drop dead years ago. Yeah. You know? The guy that almost had, had a fight with uh, the car, oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. had to counsel me. Right, yeah. The Simeonite dude. At the, at the one, uh, 126th Street? 126. Yeah, he got a big, brilliant. He wasn't that big. He was smaller than Ricard. But like afterwards, they hugged, hugged it up. Mm. But I was always cool with him. I don't know why I remember him. He wasn't that big. He wasn't that big. No, no, no. You didn't even see the guy. But anyway, years, years ago, I think 2008, 2009, he died. So Kanai was doing a video on it, you know, because he died. So I put a comment, I said, you can do that to Kanai. <laughs> but anyway, we, he was at the reservation. We went up there, man, no motherfuckers act like they didn't know us, man. Yeah, 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 I remember that. They act like they didn't know us, because they look, look like gas, right? Then the fucking, we trying to talk to the gas leaders. They were crushing us out, they called the state troopers on us. And they kicked us out of the fucking power. They said, y'all got to leave. I said, I said, I'll leave, give my fucking money back. Yeah. Yeah. It was five hours and say, hey, you got to give me money. Then we were brought to council by that big black nigga, Laha. You I heard about you, Laha. Oh, yeah. you, you, roll, you rolled up in there with your men like you were gangsters. So I turned it around on his ass. I said, how, how are we supposed to roll up in there? Like faggots? He was like, oh, she got you. You can't do Laha. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. Here we can, here we can kick, kick out the reservation. Here are you, I see going on the reservation, and they get kicked off the reservation. So guess what? Fuck them gadgets, man. This word is really for Judah anyway. Yeah. This, is, this is primarily for the three main tribes. Really Judah. Yeah. Really Judah. This is mainly for Judah. Because Judah's going to gather the rest. Right? Judah's going to gather the rest, man. Thou art he whom thy brethren shall thou, praise. Thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Judah shall be raised first. Yep. Yeah, what was that? Uh, Genesis 49. And hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose. All the days of Cyrus, king yeah, of Persia. That's, that's what Bokat is trying to do. He's trying to frustrate. Them. Right. Like, and, he's, and he's set up to do it. Yeah. But like, you know, he's uh, telling you that he's doing it on his own. That's bullshit. He's set up to do it. And said they hired counselors to frustrate oh, their purpose. Oh, he's hired. He's hired. <laughs> I mean, why would, he, why would he be so diligent? Why would he be so diligent? Yeah. He's, he's, he's hired. He's, he's a hireling. He's paid to do that, that nonsense. Remember one year, oh, this was some years ago, he said he was going to take a break. He oh, said yeah. he was going yeah. to take a break yep. for six months. Yep. That motherfucker didn't take no break. Because you know what? They pulled him to the side and said, nah, you got to keep, keep the pressure. Yeah. Keep the pressure on. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't he Your didn't. shield squad ain't even with you no more. Yeah. Well, more than that. half of them just went their own way. Fold it. She he consciousness, he's doing his thing. You kick G-Man out. Yep. You know? Oh, Shamoon. Shamoon. Yeah, he, he. Shamoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he called you a coward. Yeah. So that shit is coming up. Yeah. What scriptures should come to mind? Yeah, if Acts this council be, yeah. If this council be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the, of the most, most high, did not overthrow yeah. him. Yeah. happy. He's happy, you be found a uh, fight, fight against the most high. Guess what you're doing, Volcan? You're fighting against the most high. So you're right. fighting a losing battle. You're fighting a losing battle. And you're easy, man. Right. You're fucking easy. Easy work. You're fucking easy work. So keep on making them videos, because you give me you give me something. Are well, you starting to run out of speed? Well you're you bringing out old videos that you've had two, yeah. two, three years ago. You can see being out of speed. You ain't nobody. You ain't nobody, man. You ain't nothing. <laughs> you ain't nothing. <laughs> All right, there you go. So where we at? 
It says, all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even unto the reign of Darius, king of Persia. And in the reign of Ahasuerus, in the beginning of his reign, wrote they unto him an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And what are they doing now? They're bringing accusations the accuser of that brethren. Yep. We're not anti Semitic. We don't say that. A lot of times these small heads are more about. We don't say that. Right. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty nice to say, can I ask you a question? They get down the street. Yeah. Yeah. We're not concerned about them. Huh. We're concerned about our people. Right. Right. Huh. The accuser of thy brethren. We're more concerned about thy brother. Yeah, we're more concerned with bringing out the, the truth 100% with 100% accuracy. That's what I'm talking that was it on that. That was it? Okay. So, 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 back then, the roof fell down the leadership of Israel. They were building an actual physical temple. Right. The temple that we're building is a spiritual temple, which that temple is us. That's, uh, that's, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, verse 19. Yes, Somebody right. get that. Okay. Matter of fact, start at, start at 15. <gasps> Uh, the book of First Corinthians, the third chapter, in that fifteenth verse. If any man's work shall be burned, go up uh, uh, and hold the chapters. First Corinthians, the third chapter, the thirteenth verse. Every man's work shall be made manifest. Go up and uh, Now, if any man build upon the foundation, you know what? Uh, let me start at uh, ten first. Start at first. Okay, 1 Corinthians 3 and 9, I'll stop there, it says, For we are laborers, we are laborers together with the Heavenly Father. You are the Most High's husbandry, you are God's building. So guess what? The building that we're building, the temple that we're building, is ourselves. The Most High's building is by putting the Spirit in us. So you hear you got these uh, people in Israel talking about when the, when the, uh, the temple's going to be the third temple. They don't realize the temple is being built right before your eyes and you're showing hate to the temple. You're accusing the temple of course, the, the, the temple are the people, are the right. Israelites. Starting with the elect. When you build a house, when you build any structure, you start with the foundation. Who's the foundation? The elect. The house shine yep. and the elect. Yep. The elect, yep. Uh, Scripture say I will make you a pillar in Israel. Does that actually mean he goes, most I'm going to tell you it's a pillar. Nah. A pillar is what? A that holds something up. Then the apostle. Then foundation. Then the apostle. Go ahead. Then the apostle Paul say uh, about, what was it, James? He was one of the pillars or one of them, Peter or something? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's interesting. Yeah. Yep. James, John. It seems to be a Peter. pillar. Yeah. It seems to be a pillar. Peter, James, and John. Being a leader. Like we're yeah. pillars. Yeah. Pillars, yeah. Man. yeah. That's why we got to constantly be out here, man. Well, we got to be strong. Pillar. Pillar can't be a pillar if it's not strong. Okay. You gotta hold all that weight. It's not just raining out here, it's windy and it's fucking cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's whipping around, I mean, look at that. Soap. Yeah. Go ahead, go First ahead. Corinthians, the third chapter, the ninth verse again. For we are laborers together with the Heavenly Father. Ye are, ye are the Most High's husbandry, ye are God's building. So each one of us represent a brick so you can understand. That's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Joint, joint Built up the spiritual house. What does it mean by joint defense? Since you mentioned that, right. it means that, that there's no there's no uh, the cracks. There's no cracks to it. There's no there's no openings. There's no right. gaping holes. Everything is built correct. So that's why we don't deal with any other camps. Yeah. If you have a, uh, a unity camp with a bunch of different camps, they have a bunch of different ways to teach different things. There's holes and cracks there. There's openings in the wall. The foundation is weak. Yeah. That's like a, a that's like a broken system. That can hold no water. Can't hold water because yeah, there's cracks in it. Huh? Who the hell wants a base with cracks in it? Huh? Go ahead. Uh, ten verse. According to the grace of the heavenly Father, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let so who laid the foundation? Father. Made the first foundation at the seventh. They built upon it. And then we came in. Yep. Uh, I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon. 
But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereof. That's thereof. beautiful, right? Let, let, that's, a, that's a topic right here. Yeah. yeah. Let every man what? But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereof. Meaning, when you teach, you better make sure you teach it the right way. Gotcha. You better make sure you're not deceiving people. Right. Because the most I don't want to hear no excuse. Right. Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. The most I don't want to hear no excuses. Well, I thought it meant that, and I thought it meant that. Right. That's going to cause you to be destroyed. Right. There's not no king. When you teach this word, you got to be dead serious about dead it. Serious. Yeah. I'll read it again. Yeah, because uh, there's a certain way the Lord wants his tabernacle to be built. Yeah. You can't be building it the way you want to build it. Yeah, well, he told Moses, make sure yeah. you build it at the, as the... As a you know uh, the the blueprint pretty much that I showed you in some of the instructions. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with Noah's Ark. Had to be built. Yep. The Ark of the Covenant had to be built with specifications. Yeah. What if Noah just said, "Look, Lord, I'll build it how I want to build it." <laughs> the Lord would have got somebody else to build it. First Corinthians three and ten. According to the grace, and we're doing this by grace. This is, grace has been shown unto us by Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. According to the grace of the Heavenly Father, which is given unto me as a wise All right. as a wise master builder, as a wise master builder, open? Yeah. As a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builder there. Now, Apostle Tarso, I ain't even yeah, saying. Yeah, I know. I was saying that to Apostle Tarso. You can leave it there. I'll take it. Uh, I ain't even see it. 1 Corinthians 3 and 10. According to the grace of the Heavenly Father, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and the Holy Ghost as a wise master builder. Yeah. What is a master? That means he knows. If he's a master fighter, he knows every aspect of a fight. Right. Right. If you're a master mechanic, that means you know everything about a car. So we're master builders in this truth. So we got to know everything about this truth, man. Yeah. You can't fake it. If you don't understand something, just make it up. Right. So we don't look bad for any future. Right. That's why the scriptures say, study to show thyself approved, a work that needed not to be ashamed, rightly divide the word of truth. Now these guys, for years, have been teaching that the MOTP is something other than what we teach it. They're going to be ashamed. They're going to be ashamed. Go ahead. First Corinthians 3 and 10. According to the grace of the Heavenly Father, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. For other hey, this, this, this verse right here. I told you that's a bad, yeah. that's a bad chapter right here. Old chapter. Huh. For other Matter of fact, starting from the first verse, it goes, it goes into division. Why there's a division? Because these guys, you know. Right. Was it right. Con you know, that, that's, a bad, that's a bad chapter. Right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Read on. It says the 10th verse. I'm sorry, the 11th verse. For other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid. Which There's is. only one foundation. There's only one foundation. So if you teach, if, if one group of Israelites is teaching one thing and another group is teaching something else, either they're both wrong or one of them is wrong. Yeah. They both can't be right. The most I didn't give a little bit to this camp and yeah. a little bit on or that camp. No, he gave it to one camp. He gave it to one group. One for, for, for other foundation that no man lay, then that then that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai. Why does it say which is Yahweh Shai? Behold, I come in the volume of the book and spoken to me. Ooh. I shall not leave you comforted. Com comfortless, I shall come to you. Oh. That's why when that nigga jumped up and said, I'm the comforter, he's saying that he's the Messiah. Yeah. Yeah. Take this nigga out on April Fool's Day. Yep. Yeah. Two years ago. Oh, yeah, Shit, almost three, three years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, three yeah. years ago. That was 2020? Or... It was 2020. Three years ago. Wow. Ain't nobody even talking about him no more. He's pretty much he's an afterthought. Nobody afterthought. even talking about that group either. He's an afterthought. Oh, that, they're, just a, they're just a church. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at how they, they, they they're not out on the died. streets. They don't do YouTube videos. Yeah. If you go on their web page, you got to become a member. You know. Yeah. Back when they were coming after us, they called them, uh, call themselves the Wave of Fire. 
Well, we pissed, we pissed on the wave. Where's that wave of fire? What happened? We pissed on it. Yep. We're still here. Going back to what I said. Acts 5, 38. Yeah. If this council be a man, it shall come to naught. What? But if it be in the mo of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. Least happy he be fighting against the Most High. Done. And guess what? This guy, uh, uh, so-called uh, Hamburger, Hamadaka, he jumped the brother. Yeah. With yeah. his men, all those men that came with him. Yep. The Most High got their marked for death. They've yep. been not dead already. They're all marked for death. Yep. Yep. Read on, it says, well, let me read the 11 verse again for other foundations. What was that nigga thinking, man? Yeah. You're playing with the most high. Yeah. You're playing with the king of the universe. You're fucking around playing games. You gave an award out to some the, the, the perfect marriage award, and then you gave the, this this a perfect marriage award. Then you wound up taking it through to a wife. And, and how are you, you didn't stand up for it? Shy, you didn't stand up for it? Look, man, if you don't make it, that's on y'all, man. Right. All right? Let every man work out his own soul salvation. Yeah. You should have stayed. You, Ari, High Priest Ariel, <coughs> and High Priest Shaw, you should have stood the fuck up. I, if I was there, I would have stood the yeah, fuck yeah, up, yeah. man. I know that for a fact. And I would have probably true. did something, too. Yeah. I ain't going to say nothing, nothing any further, man. Right. You mess with this word, man. You fucking with fire, bro. So all praise to your how about Shemel Shah, Hashem the Kabbalah, they took that fucking poop out. Yeah. yeah. And I gotta say, I you guys, you, you, well, you know, you see, if you don't, you, yeah. you don't humble yourself, but you going off big time. We, we, can, easy, we can, we can, we can easily get you on the on the scriptures, man. Well, Nate is a newcomer. I have to say, I, say it how and, and 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 uh, 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 ISUBK. Yeah. Yep. They go off on a lot. This guy has totally elevated himself. That, that move you made right at the horse, you didn't know comfy. Isn't that what Comfy was doing? Elevating himself? Like I said, when you do something like that, people look at you as a God-like man. Yeah. So so you can't do any wrong. How can God go wrong? God said. Oh, didn't they have the big massive Passovers? They had that too. Uh, yeah, the one Passover they had, and the guy uh, introduced it said, not since the days of such and such have there ever yeah. been a Passover. Yeah, but 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 we made an announcement that we're going to do small Passover. No, no, no. Uh, um, um, comfy. I see. I comfy. Oh, okay. They had the old video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah and the, the announcer said, not since the days of yeah, yeah, Josiah or something like that. Something like that. Well, Josiah, Josiah, yeah. and Solomon. Solomon had some bad Passovers. Josiah, which we know who Josiah is. Right. Ash. Right. Most I got rid of him too. Right. Anyway, you know we're gonna close. All right. Yeah. Go on.